Praise him, saints. Praise his holy name. If you know what we have just sung, praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. We have just sung a request for each other. Acknowledging who we are and where we are at. Oh, somebody worship God. Oh, somebody praise his name. Somebody worship God. Brethren, this morning when I listened to Sister Sophia, amen, I, I use some of those same words in my prayer. I was saying, God, I journey to worship. Brethren, gas shot. I never just drive out my gas. If I come down here and sit down and look for nobody. It is a house of praise. Oh, somebody worship God. Somebody worship his name. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his holy name. You can now go use the restroom. Worship God. Oh, somebody praise his name. That's the God that we serve. Brethren, believe me this morning. I felt the prayer when Sister Clark said, God, I hear property. Praise his holy name. And Brethren, in my mind, I was rebuking the, the, well, if a tractor them come and I dig up the place while we there so worship. I say, God, that can't even work. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. And we sang, this is your house. He said, Father, come and dwell. Oh, somebody worship God. Somebody praise his name. Did you fight this week? Because if you haven't fought, it means you're not in it. Praise his holy name. If you never have no fight, you are not on this path. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. You have to fight to be a child of God. Oh, somebody praise his name. The apostle Paul knows it, so it's a fight, the good fight of faith. And lay hold on eternal life. The man, Jude, say you must contend, earnestly contend for the faith. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody praise his name. There is a fight, Sister Lyle. When the voice is saying, do this. Amen. There must be a fight. The anointing in you Amen. is saying, you can't do that and be a child of God. Amen. Oh, somebody worship God. Amen. That is why I say, if you didn't fight, you are not in the path. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. But if you haven't fought all week and you were a victim, there is still hope for you right now. But you must be honest. Oh, somebody worship God. Oh, somebody praise his name. Oh, somebody worship his name. Praise his holy name. In Numbers 12, the Bible said that Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses for taking the Ethiopian woman for his wife. And the Lord touched down. Let us take one. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. You know why? Because in trouble the Holy Ghost. That was on Moses. Somebody praise his name. They must say you're going like a you want to hear from God. Praise his holy name. Sister, Sister Sophia, let me, let me strengthen what, what was said this morning. Many of us throughout the church of God, I talk about far and near, we don't believe in a dream. We say you get a dream, you tell a dream. But I'm going to read something for you. Numbers 12. Praise his holy name. Numbers 12 and verse 6. And he said, hear now my words. After the talking and the murmuring. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in what? In a vision. And will speak unto him in a dream. Preacher, in Matthew chapter 1, when, Mo, when Joseph was doubting what is happening and what I should do, the Bible said the Lord spoke to him in a dream. He said to him, go on, take the young child and go on back because all those who seek his life is dead. And I could quote a bunch more of scriptures. When we don't want to believe that the word is for the church, we say you get a dream, you tell a dream. But Sister Sophie and others that's getting the, the visions, it tells in the very atmosphere. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Oh, somebody praise his holy name. 
Bridging last week, all day I struggled. Amen. I don't know if you were okay, but I was not. Amen. I struggled all day. There is a heaviness that is pulling it down to the ground. All we are jumping and singing heavy. Praise his holy name. Amen. Oh, somebody worship God. Amen. Oh, somebody praise his name. Amen. But I'm going to tell you that don't play with sin because when you mess with sin and get used to sin, you come and jump in a sin. Oh, praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. My dear, I remember in Dallas when I felt the same feeling for weeks. And preacher, we, we talk as ministers. And we, we, I, we went home and we all prayed. And preacher, God showed me what was happening. And the first place we go, it was right as a book. Praise his holy name. And that was the one that God chose to reveal. The others are wrong because sometimes because we don't get revealed. We think we're okay, you know, my dear. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. But the warning continues. Praise his name. God loves his church. And we are a family. And whenever you breach, you impact the entire family. Oh, somebody worship God. You will see in the lesson what I'm talking about. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Because what Solomon did, it impacted Jeroboam. Rehoboam, praise his name. Oh, somebody worship God. And so, preacher, when you walk, Brother John, remember, say, so you have Sister Janita. When I walk, I have to remember I have Ashlyn Cortez. Oh, somebody worship God. Preacher, remember, you have Javon. Because it may not take Javon in your days. But the very day your casket go down. Judgment might come upon him. Because of your action. Praise his holy name. Oh somebody worship God. Oh somebody praise his name. I want to give honor to the spirit of God. Amen. The ministers. Pastor Campbell, Deacon Buchanan. The wives of the ministers. The wonderful people of God before me and online. I greet everyone in Jesus' name. Our soon coming king. The objective said to highlight the importance of remaining in the truth. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. I'm just introducing this lesson as I open. Amen. That we will understand. Praise his name that God is watching us. And when you say that everlasting name and God is jealous over you. Praise his holy name. Praise his name. Praise Amen. Back to the lesson. We, um, we already did the objective. We said to um, highlight the importance of remaining in the truth. Praise his name. Praise his holy name. And the subject, um, could you please stand and let us do the subject scripture in the memory verse together. After three, one, two, three. Okay. After our lesson is, seek for the old path. First Kings 11. Scholars. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise Him again one more time. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Members taken from 1 Kings 11 and 38. And it shall be, if thou wilt hearken unto all that I command thee, and wilt walk in my ways, and do that is right in my sight, to keep my statutes and my commandments, as David my servant did, then I'll be with thee and build a sh the a sure house as I did for David and will give Israel unto thee. Praise his name. Come up with a call. Praise his name. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. 
1 Kings 11, 30. And it shall be, if thou wilt hearken unto all of thy commandments, and will walk in my ways, and do that which is right in my sight, and keep my statutes and my commandments, as David my servant, did, that I will be with thee, and be thee a sure house, as I bid for David, and will give Israel unto thee. Praise his name. We praise his name. Now can the school do it together? Praise his name. After three, we stand. One, two, three. It shall be. We walk in my ways. Do that this is right. My son. Keep my statutes and my commandments. As David, my servant, will be a sure house as I build. Praise his name. We praise his name. Topic is saying, seek for the old pathway. Praise his name. We just did, um, we did the objective, the memory verse. And I'm going to ask Sister Riley, amen, to give us her thought on the the topic, and then I'm going to ask Sister Baxter to give us our draft and the memory verse. We praise the Lord. Praise Him. We magnify the name of the Lord. Praise God. The subject today is saying, seek for the old pathway. And as Brother Riley said this morning, the pathway has not changed. It has been the same on, um, since the foundation, and it is still the same today. Yes, and um, so many times, brethren, when we, when we give our word or our comment or an encouragement, people say that it sounds the same way. But we can't change what we are saying because we're not seeing any change in people's lives. Amen. How many times have we go up there and we speak about marriages, we speak about dressing, we speak about so many things, on, but people are still doing the same thing Praise over and over again. Praise his holy Praise name. His name. Um, when Jeremiah spoke to the Benjamites and he told them to seek for the old pathway oh, and walk therein when they find it, yes. and they blatantly said, we, we will, will not, not walk therein. God. And brethren, even though we are not opening our mouths to say that on, our dear. actions are saying Praise the same name. thing, Amen. we will not walk therein yes. because we, we get the word in and out. Praise his holy name. The scripture said, preach the word in season and out of season. And that is what we have been doing. But yet still, nobody is changing. And so God. let us be careful, yeah. brethren, because we don't want the Lord to use us to fulfill a prophecy or to use us to make an example. Um, he told Jeroboam um, what he was supposed to do, walk in the statutes of David. He said, me rise you up out of the dust yes, and give you this kingdom. Yeah. And Jeroboam didn't listen. Yeah. And so the prophecy was fulfilled and yeah. Jeroboam, all of his house was wiped out. Yeah. And Virgin, what I noticed was that the same king, King Basha, that, that um, God used to wipe out Jeroboam, the prophecy was also fulfilled on him. The same prophecy yes, for Jeroboam. Praise his holy uh -huh. name. And so we don't want that to happen to us. And so as, as the, the subject is saying to us, seek for the old pathway. And when we find it, walk therein. Praise his name. Praise his holy name. God bless his sister, Alice, sister Baxter. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise the Lord. And the memory verse taken from 1 Kings 11, 38. And it shall be if thou will hearken unto all that I command thee, and wilt walk in my ways, and do that is right in my sight, to keep my statutes and my commandments, as David my servant did, that I will be with thee and build thee a sure house, as I built for David, and will give Israel unto thee. Bless the name of the Praise Lord. Him. Um Sister Riley said some of it already, but Joe Boehm, when we we're, when were reviewing a little bit more about him, he was given charge over the um, over jo the house of Joseph. And then um, when we're looking back, he's from the house of e he's from the tribe of Ephraim, and in the house of Joseph, Ephraim and Manasseh, they were the ones that were working out there. 
um, the laborers. And so he was put in charge. Um, Solomon saw him as that somebody who was a hard worker yes, and, and all of that. And so he was chosen to be, to, to be in charge of these people uh, over that house. And you know, um, when we're looking at it, you know, he called him a mighty man of valor. Bless the name of Jesus. And so we know that he had the ability to do, to work, because you won't get that description without it. But God wanted to make sure that he said, you know, if you will hearken mm -hmm. unto what I command thee, if you will follow my statutes, if you will do as David did. He was not from the line of David, but he was given a chance to follow as David did. Because we know David had a heart like um, after the Lord. And he said, to keep my statutes, and, and as David, my servant, did. And then I will be with thee. So the Lord has said, when you walk the way I'm asking you to walk, the way I'm telling you to walk, the way that I'm directing you to walk, when you keep my commandments, when you do all that you're supposed to do, I will be with thee. Yes. He told Joshua, I will never um, um, be of good courage. Mm -hmm. And he told others, I, um, I'm with thee, fear not, for I'm with thee. Yes. I will leave thee or forsake thee. So the Lord is telling us that when we walk according to his way, he will not leave us. When, he, when we do as he tells us to do, he will not turn around and walk the other direction direction from us. We bless the name of the Lord. Jerobo Jeroboam had the ability, but he did not have the heart like David. He had the ability, but you could see that he was broken. He was insecure oh in who he was. And, but if he had built up himself in God, he, God would have taken him through and would have been with him. And so today, brethren, we want to walk according to the Lord. We said the commandments every Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about it the other day, and I said, you know, it's not a matter for just saying it, but it is a reminder us to look into the mirror of yes, what ma, God is asking us mm -hmm. to do. It is a reminder. It is to help us to remember what God is calling us up to do. The, the tablets were broken the first time. They were redone. And he didn't ask Moses to write them. He wrote them by his own finger. Bless the name of the Lord. They were put in the ark for us to, 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 to have. Bless the name of the Lord. And so it is for us to really follow the statutes of the Lord. Even if you come from AYZ, God call you, he's saying, follow my command. If you even come from the line of David, some people go back and look in generations, he's telling you, follow the line, that I follow the path that I've given unto you. And so brethren, when we have the path before us, the narrow and straight will bring you to the kingdom. The broadest away to destruction. Bless the name of the Lord. And so Jeroboam did not heed. He did completely the opposite. Oh, but boy. we were saying unto us today, let us walk straight. Let us talk straight. Let us live right so the Lord will be with us and our house or everything will be, you know, just according to his word. My few words in Jesus' name. Praise, him. Praise, Praise, Praise his name. Praise, Praise him, church. Praise God bless you, Sister Baxter. Amen. Praise him for every action. There is a reaction. Sister Cam, you're on the same thing, right? Yeah. We praise the Lord. Praise Him. Yeah. We praise the Lord, school. Amen. We worship the Lord. Amen. 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 Greetings to the Sabbath school. Praise His holy name. Um, you know, brethren, I was there thinking about the subject. Seek for the old path. The old pathway. Praise the Lord. And brethren, I was thinking about seeking. I was saying to myself, um, seeking it says to attempt our desire to obtain or achieve. And I was thinking, brethren, I'm a country girl. And um, I, I went back home, and I was thinking about this old track that we take, old path where we take to go up. We call it Upper Bush. And brethren, this part, nobody has tried for a while. And grass and weed and everything. But I can remember we used to take that path, Banji, yes. to go up um, to my father's farm. And I was saying to myself, when we, the church of God, you know, tend to um, go astray or tend to veer, there is a pathway that is set for the church to follow. Yes. But if we don't daily prune, daily try to um, fit ourselves up for the kingdom yes. of God, yes. then we're going to lose sight. Amen. You know, grass and, and, and weed when come yes, up. And, and we're going to lose sight of what the Lord, you well, know, put in front of us to, you know, um, do. And I, um, Sister Riley talk about the scripture um, as um, in Jeremiah. And that particular scripture came to my mind. 
praise his holy name. And the other thing that came to my mind was um, what Sister Baxter said about the Ten Commandments. We have the Ten Commandments. The men of old set the tone for us to follow. And yet still we, the church of God, we tend to go, our, you know, we, we tend to go according to feelings. We tend to go according to, you know, um, the no. We praise his holy Amen. name. But um, the scripture is reminding us that it's a daily pruning. It's a daily, um, it says, um, it's a daily attempt, desire to, to, to find and to be in what the Lord, to be in tune, what the Lord um, desire for us to follow. And so today I'm just encouraging the church of God, imploring us, let us continually prune in ourselves that we not lose sight of the old path. And in order not to lose sight of the old path, Banji, we have to, it, it, you have to constantly weed it out. You yes, know? You have to constantly tread it, you know, in order to maintain that pathway. We praise his holy name. Amen. Because the pathway is not us falling or brethren. No. We praise his holy name. Praise him. Amen. It's a track. Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. And the thought came to me. It says, um, broad yes. is the way to yes. destruction and narrow. And so, brethren, I was just thinking about it. You know, um, if we don't content, constantly maintain that pathway, brethren, we done different things and we're going to lose sight. Yeah. Praises to the, to the point where everywhere we're going to look the same mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we yes. have lost sight Praise of him. the pathway. Yes. Praises on our forefathers have set the tone and, 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 and it was con for us to continue therein. We praise his holy praise name. Him. And so our carnal nature, let it not get the best of us. Mm -hmm. So we lose sight of what God set from the beginning of time. Because, you know, I was thinking, brethren, 99, you know, when I was saying, my God, you know, many would accept. I was saying, God, from 90 down to 99, yes, I would be jumping and skipping. That's an because a. it's an A. <laughs> Praise his holy name, but God oh, look at boy. it and say, that is not your best. Not we praise his holy name. Amen. And so today I'm encouraging us as a church of God to know if our righteousness is like filthy rag, much that's when we are put out with mm -hmm. best in our brethren. Mm -hmm. And God will blow up on the rest so that we can make it in. Tonight, today I'm encouraging us that we, amen, will not lose sight of what God, you know, set in order for us to do. And we will not, um, you know, Stray away from what the word of God, because if we really want to make it in, then we have to do our best and go full out. You pray, my strength. Jesus. Praise, him. praise him. We praise his name. Praise we praise his holy name. Praise God bless you, Sister Riley, Sister Baxter, and Sister Campbell. Praise his name. Brethren, um, I, I have to, um, Brother Riley did a good job this morning for the part that I heard because I stepped out. Yes, but he did make mention of the narrow part. Yes. This part is narrow. Amen. Praise his name. Amen. Preacher, it is, it is a different part from the part of the world. Yes. Amen. We didn't cook up steel this morning and then come church. Amen. But it, it is from sunset to sunset. Yes. Neither did we buy cast this morning. Amen. Praise his holy name. We never vacuum a car this morning. No. Oh, praise his holy name, now I am a close. I hope I'm talking to the church of the living God. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Bridging not even your shoes. This morning. I hear my, my daddy's voice a while ago. Boy, I go clean your shoes Friday evening. We need some good old time commandment keepers in this new age. Praise his name. Reach one before sunset. If you now I'm asked the Lord, tell God this is uncomfortable. It used to happen to me. I'm a cry out. I couldn't function. I know the Lord. When we clock in Bridget, I'm on the time at 7:30. 3:30 is eight hours. Praise His holy name. Bridget, even short, they even winter, brother Baxter. I can't get home in time. Praise his holy name Amen. to honor God's Sabbath. Hallelujah. And you see these long days where we in America get, Jamaica not getting this, you know. No, that means we never broke Sabbath, you know. No. Why am I on Sabbath keeping? Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. And God needs some, some, some new commandment keepers. Amen. Some new principle. Amen. Last night, um, I was saying to my wife, I wish there was something here. That when we come through the doors, 
You can't say no text nor nothing until you leave. I wish there was. Because sometimes we sit down right in the church and I break Sabbath. Because your text folly to the other person. And you are not zoning into what is happening. Therefore, you come and you don't really get a blessing. When you get your phone call after church, how was Sabbath? Why well, was it was okay? Okay for you because you're not zoning in. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. And so the according to the um the objective, amen, praise his name. The, the old part is the truth. Praise his holy name. It's not new to you. We are in the truth. We are on the old pathway. So how, how are we going to maintain what we have? Oh, somebody worship God. Brethren like David, you are on the old path. But I noticed something happened in chapter 2 of 1 Kings preacher. David um, counsel Solomon on his deathbed. I'm going to tell you something of all that anybody will ever say to you. I'm talking about a child of God now. Sister Mary always get a word from the Lord. Sister Singh, these people live for that. But no word will select like the last word on their deathbed to you. Check what I'm saying good. I'm talking about those that is dying in the Lord. You remember when Jacob said, call my sons to me. On his deathbed, praise his name. This word preacher, David, walk with God. The Bible call him a man after his own heart. The Bible said the man pleased the Lord. Except for the one sin. Uriah's wife, that's how Chronicles spell it out. Praise his holy name. And brethren, you know what the man, the man sight that he saw that coming. Because David at 70 could hardly move you know, because he lived a rough life. Sound like, oh, my mommy is 70 and she don't look like it. But preacher, this man around all in life. Saul run him down most of it. Free as his holy name. The man said, by the I run to a true preacher. And, and jump over a wall, preacher, Psalm 18. Free as his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. But it was time for him to go. And the man that was next in line, he called him. And he said to him, keep the charge of the Lord. Thy God to walk in the ways, in thy ways to keep the, the, his statutes, his commandment and his judgment. His testimonies as it, as it is written in the law of Moses. That thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest. And whithersoever thou turnest thyself. Amen. That the Lord may continue the word which he spake concerning me. Saying if if thy children take heed to their ways to walk in, in truth before me in truth with all their heart and with all their soul there shall not fail thee said he a man on the throne of Israel praise his holy name oh somebody worship God somebody worship his name brethren God has been so good to us sister Debbie you weren't raised in the truth but God revealed the truth to you. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. Sister Clark, Sister Campbell. Amen. You weren't raising the truth, but God revealed truth to you. Amen. Now preacher, you know what happened? This word is for us also. Amen. It's for you. Amen. Because now the truth is revealed to you. Or oh, somebody worship God. Or oh, somebody praise his name. Brethren, you know what I found out through the words of God? If you obey God, even financially, you will be okay. Preacher, this week when I read in the book of Ezekiel, preacher, you know God deal with Israel. Israel of all live our farming. There is a rain called the, the early. The, the farmer and the latter rain. Preacher, you need the farmer rain when you're putting in the crop so that the crop will start off good. Preacher, you'll get a few showers between. But they depend on the, the, the latter rain now, preacher, that bring the, 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 um, the cultivation, bring it to, to maturity. 
so that you can eat or sell or whatever or whichever way you want to do it. Oh, somebody worship God. Preacher, when I look in the words, the word of God declared that if you see any time them, them disobey God, preacher, you see when the crop, when the crop look like this, the color loo look like this, I'm ready, preacher. God just sent drought and kill it and make them hungry. Preacher, your punch will be all right if you walk good with God. God will try you with hunger, yes, preacher. But you will live to be a testimony. It cannot be forever. Amen. Oh, somebody worship God. Oh, somebody praise his name. But you have to continue on the whole part, preacher. Oh, somebody worship his name. Preacher, the commandment was revealed to you for a reason, to you and I. And preacher, the, the man, um, David, gave these words to Solomon yeah. on his deathbed. Yeah. And preacher, Solomon came in and we know the story of Solomon. Yeah. Preacher, when a man done, when a man, when you read how we built the temple, yeah. while you read, you have to be in, envisioning yes. what you are reading. Yes. Man talk about the, the cherubims and yes. how it meat and every measurement was right, preacher. The Bible said that preacher, the stones cut and carried there. Yeah. Praise his holy name. No, 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 no. You never hear the sound of no Jesus. No, no stone. I'm a preacher. Praise his name. But everything was prepared. A matter of fact, David himself started to prepare. Amen. Even though we heard that I wasn't going to be the one who built this house. But I'm going to make preparation for the, the child that come from my own line. Amen. Oh, praise his holy name. Oh, praise his holy name. And preacher, when he finished and done deacon, and he go on the altar and stretch his hand to heaven, and he call, he said, God that sit between the cherubims. Bridging is one of the longest prayers I've heard. But when he done, preacher, God Almighty opened the heavens. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. And consume the sacrifice. Praise his holy name. Somebody worship God. Oh, somebody worship his name. Oh, somebody worship his name. Do you still have this, the shaking that pull you to God? The same anointing that you came up in, do you still have it? Did you maintain it? Is that baby dead or is it kicking? Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Oh, somebody praise his name. Mighty God. Preacher Solomon, the same Solomon, the better is the end of a thing. Than the beginning. In the beginning, you kick, you, when you call, God answer by fire. But as you go on, if you don't maintain, you will be a backslider in Zion. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Praise his holy name. Mighty God. Praise his holy name. This spot has become an uncomfortable spot for me. Because every time I come, I feel like I'm giving an altar call. Since of late, that is. Something is not right in the ear. And it's more than what we know. Amen. Praise his holy name. The, 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 the Jonah was sleeping. Amen. And there's something was breaking at two, but Jonah just snore. Praise his holy name. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Preacher, we know when the when when the when the something every preacher we know is how we preacher the way of them high out for break the ship in a two. Jonah knew that it was him. That's why he go down in the, sh the side of the ship and start to hide. Oh, somebody praise his name. Oh, somebody worship God. But back to Solomon preacher, the man in the beginning of his life. When he called, God answered by fire. Preacher, everything was so good. The man was just sacrificing. When he sacrificed, preacher, the Bible speak of the number of sacrifices. When you look at his portion daily preacher. But preacher, something happened. The man look and he said, all right now. 
I don't have no war, but God say more give me riches. Yeah. He bless me with wisdom when he solve things. The, the Bible said the queen had a soul journey to him, preacher. Just to hear of his wisdom. And preacher, everything I go good. But as he as he as he stood there, he start to get careless. He sit down and say, How oh, am I gonna have peace with these men? You know what? Let me call over their daughters. Let me marry to them. Because the, 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 it, it's been years now, you know, so boy, the, the, um, the one in on the deathbed from my father. It is, it is ju it just a deteriorate more and more. I'm now maintaining on the old part, Sister Marlon. I'm preacher, the first wrong move he made, Deacon, he goes to boom and he stand up. And he say, I do to a hedonic yes. worshiper's daughter. To fear his daughter. And preacher, he never stop there and keep going. He take on the Moabites preacher. And the Ammonites and all these people who worship image preacher. The same one that God said to Israel in Deuteronomy. Don't even make mention of these other God's preacher. Praise his holy name. Oh somebody worship God. And preacher, you know what happened? The same place where the fire came down mighty God praise his holy name Bridget, the same place where the fire came down the bible said the man Bilan some little things you're not going to read the bible the man the man Bilan Bilan some addition in get some rights preach on him Bilan the addition on the same temple that the fire came down and consumed that sacrifice Praise his holy name. Mighty God. Praise his holy name. I'm bridging God so I was here. I got leave. I'm bridging Solomon going there with them. And him bow down to the something them with, with them. Help them worship them. And preacher God said, I am clean gone. I'm gone from here. And preacher confusion start. Mighty God. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Mighty Holy Ghost. We, 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 we don't like to be compared. Many of you are very nervous now because me I teach. But I, I didn't call myself. I have an inner struggle you know. But I'd rather die. Amen. David said, if I forget Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its cunning. And let my tongue cleave to the roof of my head. Whenever I come in the house of God to worship, it will never go like the way you expect it to. Because I'm not leading myself. This lesson is not just for Georgia. It is for the organization. A warning is coming from God to the organization. God placed you in Pimenta Walk for a reason. If Pimenta Walk deteriorates, it's on you. God placed you in Buxton for a reason. In Philadelphia for a reason. We are placed in Georgia for a reason. Preacher, years to come by the Jamal. When you become the pastor or the deacon, God will compare you to him. And that is where many of us get nervous. Because God is comparing us to Bishop Bennett. God is comparing us to Pastor Davis. God is comparing us to Elder Geddes. God is comparing us to Bishop Campbell. Glory to God. And preacher, I didn't know that I was, I wasn't supposed to teach. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Oh, somebody worship his name. I didn't write this down from last night. But the old part, preacher, just as though Solomon, the fire burn. And years to come. He deteriorate before the people. 
And God Almighty preacher, the church was in a turmoil preacher because of Solomon's action. Oh, praise his holy name. When God set us up and, and rubbed us, the oil is placed on us. It is more than what I wear. You have a responsibility to keep the church of the living God intact. Did I say anything wrong? Tell me if I say anything wrong. I'm speaking from the word of God. Whatsoever things was written aforetime, they are written for our learning. Praise his holy name. It's God Almighty send this lesson. Praise his holy name. The old part must be maintained. Oh, somebody worship God. Brethren, let me tell you something. Ministers have a great responsibility. If nobody else stand, God expect us to stand. For when you go a whoring, the people will go with you. Yes. Jeremiah said, my people love to have it so. Yes. And preacher, Solomon, his life, when you listen to chapter 11 start, he said, but. So all the stretch out hand and fire burn. That, 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 that has been negated. Praise his name. It gone. Ezekiel 33 said, so when a righteous man yes. move from, 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 from the righteous part that you walk, all your, your righteousness, they are forgotten preacher. And he also said, when the, when the killer move from killing and come to me, all your killing, all the murder you have done in Tip Valley, however ever you have done it, preacher, it is forgotten. How is Zion now? Comparing to when we were children. Amen. If I know some teaching, I can go sit down and know. Amen. Preacher, some comparison happened. God said, God said to Arm, if you notice every time God talk, if the person before you obey him, God compare you to him. He said, walk like other man they walk. Then why are you uncomfortable? Let me tell you, when, you're, when a man, when a new leader moves to Georgia, Sister Sophie will compare you. The people will compare you. Preacher. Solomon. The man never hold it together. Preach of the man, the strange woman, take his heart away. And when I read Nehemiah chapter 13, you will see what I am saying. The Bible said, um, outlandish woman, take away heart, preacher. That is why when I talk to Mother Singh yesterday, it's like we were having church on the line. Young people, seek your partner in the Lord. We are talking about old partner. You know? Seek your partner in the Lord. Amen. Praise his holy name. I'm going to say that one more time. Seek your partner in a Jesus. Because you are up for a rude awakening. If you don't seek your partner in the Lord. Let me tell you. Let me, let me just say it like I would go. It's not everybody in the church. You can't even marry too much. less out of the church. Praise his holy name. For Numbers 11 say a mixed multitude. Verse 4 went up among them. So that tell me, say not everybody in a church serious about God. So make sure that you get a worshiper. Praise his holy name. Preach, I read it this week. Bible said the man said, the man said, oh daddy and mommy, I saw a woman in Timnat. He said, she pleased me well. I'm preacher. If Samson had known that his eyes would be plucked, Samson would humble himself and take a woman from among them. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. 
But preacher, you see, I'm standing here talking right now. I pray to God that 40 years from now, if I'm alive, I will soon know less. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Oh, somebody worship God. One person walking down the and say, you will change too. We are waiting. Let me tell you, so far, it is going good. We haven't changed as yet. Praise his holy name. Let the principles of God govern the church of the living God. How oh, the old part look? One wife. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody bless his name. That is why, Deacon, you're going to preach. Brother John, you're going to preach. You're, you're going to preach. Brother Brown. Brother Aaron, you're going to preach, preacher. Brother Jamal, you will be preaching. Brother Riley, you're going to preach. Brother Carl, just live up, preacher, so you can preach to the people of God. Because he, she, and the old lady not coming in here to preach. Oh, somebody worship God. Your wife can't look no different from our wife. When you come to talk to the people of God. You could be the Pope in your own heart. You, you got to look like the church of the living God. And embrace what we do. One wife. And so say all of us preacher. One wife. Praise the name of Jesus. And we and bridging the whole part, the whole part, I want serious thing, you know. The whole part so you can't live like you're married before you're married, you know. Amen. Our whole part we're talking about. Whole part say courtship is not marriage. Praise his holy name. All parts so you can be showing off your, your, your private parts on the internet. Yes. Uh, well, part we're talking about. Yes. Good God of mercy. <laughs> Preacher. Preacher. It shall come to pass that knowledge shall be increased. Praise his holy name. Yeah, Let me tell you something. Lay a good foundation when you're courting. Because oh, yes. when you're courting, many, many of the shaky marriages you see, yes, sir. they lay a sinful foundation. Shaky foundation. And now you want it to be all, all yes. dandy. Yes. Remember your foundation. Yes. Remember when you're courting that you're a child of God. Yes. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Preacher, let me tell you something. Many of those whom we are praying for, you know, your prayer can't help them, you know. Because the situation remains the same. And unless somebody die from it, you will be praying forever. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. So, preacher, we'll see more as we go down in the lesson. Praise his holy name. And we'll see. Brethren, God has said to me, you know. It's a vanity in a backslide. Brethren, let me tell you. Anybody read the life of Solomon and see when he saw Jeroboam coming up? When God leave him. You see, when God leave you, we don't want to see nobody else about you, you know. When God leave you, and you hear one preacher, you say, Lord God, that's how I used to sound. You said left some for me. <laughs> but did you maintain that fire when you stretch your hands on the altar? And when fire came down, did you have you been maintaining that same fire? Do you still lock yourself off in three days to come back and tell the church what God is saying? So preach brother, brother, brother Jamal, when you come up now, and when God Almighty use, when, the, when, when you start to stretch your hand, and when you come across preacher, and when the fire consume the sacrifice, I can't even say amen. Because I, I remember that's where I used to be. But for some reason now when I call, there is no, no connection. Neither by dreams, nor by prophet. Praise his holy name. 
So I, I'm, I'm, I'm close to, to telling you, get me a woman. Because I must hear something. Today, today. Why God send this lesson? For such a time as this preacher. Yes, sir. May God have mercy upon us. Amen. Preacher, I just turned 40. May the Lord, preacher on a little bit older than me, may the Lord keep us all. Because I know the devil waiting for a fall. But may the Lord keep us all, preacher, conscious. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Somebody worship his name. And brethren, you know what come with us? In righteousness and holiness. We want to stand, three of us. Come here, preacher. No, come here. Praise his holy name. Come here, preacher. Hold my right and left hand. Praise his holy name. We want to stand in righteousness. And say, as for me and as for us and our church, where God placed us to lead, we will serve the Lord. Oh, somebody worship God. We want to stand in righteousness and say, follow me as I follow Christ. Oh, somebody worship his name. Oh, somebody worship God. Praise his holy name. Glory to God. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Oh, praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Oh, somebody worship God. Somebody worship his name. Praise his holy name. Mighty God. Praise his holy name. Glory to God. Mighty Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Preacher, in the rock I will lie. And in the shadow we will abide. The storms of life, they are raging, Sister Marley. But in the rock we will hide. Praise his name. Oh, somebody worship God. Oh, somebody worship his name. Praise his holy name. We sang, this is your house. Come and dwell, preacher. Let me tell you, if you dwell in truth, if truth is not being embraced, there is no whole part. The whole part is the truth. The truth that you know from the beginning. Oh, somebody worship God. The man said, I write no new commandment. The new commandment is the one you know from the beginning, preacher. Oh, somebody praise his name. And so let us maintain in God. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Amen. Preacher, I look and I see that the struggle was on those that was leading Israel. Amen. Preacher, the struggle is on us now. It's rough. Amen. But with God, we can make it. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. Oh, somebody worship God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. If no thoughts or any comment, I will move to question one. Praise his name. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. Under what circumstances do kingdoms prosper in God? And how did acting contrary to, the, to, to this lead to the kingdom of Israel being divided? So 1 Kings 11, 9 to 13. It says, And the Lord was angry with Solomon because his heart was turned from the Lord God of Israel, which appeared unto him twice. And he had commanded him concerning this thing, that he should not go after other gods. But he kept not that which the Lord commanded. Therefore the Lord said unto Solomon, For as much as this is done of thee, and thou hast not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I have commanded thee, I will surely rend the kingdom from thee, and I will give it to thy servant. Notwithstanding in thy days, I will not do it for David, thy father's sake, but I will rend it out of the hands, out of the hand of thy son. 
Howbeit I will not rend away all the kingdom, but will give one tribe to thy son for, for David my servant's sake, and for Jerusalem's sake, which I have chosen. Praise his name. Under what circumstances, Brother Fraser? They do kingdoms prosper in God and hold it, um, acting contrary to this lead to the kingdom of Israel divided. So I could be wrong, but it says under what circumstance um, when you keep God's commandment yes, sir. and yes, his covenant, sir. Yes, sir. and it says acting contrary will lead to the kingdom of Israel being oh. divided. Oh, how did? How did, yes. So because of Solomon disobedient, yes. um, prophecy was pronounced upon the, his house that he will take away one, yes. take away ten kingdoms and leave yes. one for David and for Jerusalem's sake. Praise, Praise his name. Praise Everybody get that? Yes. Praise his name. Brethren, preacher, when if the Lord tarries and we get old, how will we give this to Brother Riley? That is the message. How, how, will, how will I pass on my button to brother, brother Jonathan Baxter? Praise his name. Praise his holy name. The commandments they are dear preacher and living according to the will of God is expected. Daily preacher. Praise his holy name. Praise him. And so, amen. Pre pre preacher the, the word said uh, the Lord say him all, him all rent the kingdom. Yeah. Preacher, imagine imagine you go a bush to move your goat, preacher. And a man meeting at the bush. And take off the Bible says a new garment Jeroboam in and a preacher. Preacher, the man who walked through the bush, preacher, in a, a tasha boy in the bush. And a man just meet your preacher. You know, when you hear from the Lord, people think you're mad. Think about it. When you're hearing from the Lord, people say you're either mad or dunce. They say I'm not regular. Bushman, that. But preacher, the man see him around there. And old man say, hey, hear my man. The man just start tear up things in a preacher. Especially every time I envision it, I have to smile. May the Lord have mercy. It's a good thing about an underclothes preacher. When a man don't rip ten pieces, <coughs> when God use you, when you're hearing from the Lord, when the Jamal people think you're off your records. They thought John the Baptist was a crazy dude, you know. They say not even not, not dealing with people. He segregated himself. Praise his name. I saw some hands. Yes, I'm gonna let me take it first and then I take the others. So um let me read the Sabbath school again. Praise God. Um so I have a question, preacher. Based on what you said this morning and even with the life of Solomon. And um we say that what others do affect us now, correctly? Yes, sir. Um but according to the commandments, it tells us that God shows Show mercy. mercy on the thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. um, the Israel was, so there was a saying in Israel also that the father sucked the sour grape yes, and the children know, teach a certain age. Yes. And he said, no longer, you know. Um, let this parable be used. Let this parable be used. God also said, our souls are mine. Yes. Soul of the father and the soul of the son. And he said, the soul that sin it shall surely die. Forward, for, forward, forward to the New Testament. The Bible says we shall give an account for the deeds done in, in our, our body. body. Individually, yes. Right? Yes. Now, there's a great era preacher for me in my mind that I would like you to clear for me. If I, for example, live a, an outlandish life, mm -hmm. how does it impact the brethren? How does it impact my children if they repent and do better than me? Everybody want to try? You want to respond to that? 
Go ahead. You want to respond to it, Sister Ryan? Go ahead, my dear. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Um, I feel like anything outside of God's design spells problem. Come on. And let us take, for example, um, fornication. Fornicate, get pregnant, and so there's a child in the picture. And in the future, you know, you turn over your life, you give your life to the Lord, and get married. Um, there are so many different issues that can stem from that one mistake that you made in the past. Yeah. There is, there can be issues where, for example, your husband don't please you the same way that that first person did. That is a big problem. Amen. There are other issues where the child, you know, that he's, this is now a, a stepfather situation mm -hmm. or a stepmother situation, whomever, you know. And so there can be a rift between that relationship. Yes. yes. There are so many other issues that can come out of that. So anything that is outside of God's design, then that spells problem. Yes. And so God not necessarily have to like deliberately say, all right, may I, may I give you sickness for the sin that you committed. Right, right. But the consequences and the actions and the reactions that follow that one mistake, that is all. then that is enough for you to pay for yes, the rest of your life yes, for what it is that you did. Yes. Praise him. Praise him. Sister Clara. We praise the Lord. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Let me greet the church in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I was thinking about there's several people that um, God said it to. Um, when you sin, there is a consequence for your sin. Yeah. But based on your son's reaction or your child's reaction, God will say, I'm not going to put it on you because this is your reaction, because you're choosing to keep my commandment. But you see, the next child got to watch, and he keeps on watching. And that is the example that I see in the scripture. Like, that, that penalty is still hanging, but God is still going to be faithful enough. I was so... I, I mean, I read the scripture before, but when I read the charge given to Jeroboam, I was like, God, your mercies really are renewed every day. Amen. You know, because he gave him that opportunity. God didn't say, because you're Ephraim, and no say you're going to mess up. God gave him that same opportunity to follow my statutes, and I'm going to make you a sure house. Yeah. And man of Judah. No. Just like he gave, he gave Saul that opportunity, you know? Benjamin, the least of the tribes, you know? They got that same opportunity. God is looking at each individual to give you the same opportunity. However, you see that sin from your father? It is hanging. And if you, you play yourself, you're going to get it. You, you, how many, I mean... When Ahab reacted the way he did to um, Elijah's first, you know, um, when he came to him first, he got mercy. But then afterwards, then they repeat, they read the, the, everything that he said he was going to do because then, then they chose not to listen. But I, I'm just thinking of the same thing. You know, he, he said it, he says it a lot. Like, just as though he said, you know, he's going to keep one tribe for David. He will say, I won't do it to you because this is how you're reacting. But I will do it unto your son. Or, you know, and it's still hanging and it's still waiting. But I love Praise God him. because he's faithful. If you choose, you're going to get that. Everybody don't look at mommy and say, mommy did this some doom. Look at it and say, I get my 
opportunity to make the right choice. But if I fool my time, I'm going to reap that reward. Praise him. Praise him, Deacon. You have behind a brother Jamal? But it's on something else, right? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Deacon. <coughs> Shall we praise the Lord? Praise God. When I was looking through the lesson, it's when Solomon started with his, his foolishness. The Bible said one man named e Adab. Yes, man. He was he out in the Philistine. He was out in Egypt. Yeah. You understand me? With, with, with fear. Mm -hmm. And he said, the man escaped from the evidence. He said, the man escaped from the evidence. And he could always go high. But now he is a Solomon. Are doing foolishness. You understand the man, the Bible said the man said, Boy, to, to him, master. Say, Boy, I'm going go on back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, he said, I'm going go back because run away. He, is a David, he is a David right and dead. Yes, man. He is a job, David. So he said, Boy, is it charm? We got a chance now. And the Bible talk about him. I talk about one next, one next set of people. Yes, yes. You understand me? Because, listen to me. When I start the foolishness now, God present leave you and our people. Listen to me. It's when you as a, as a father do something. And you Hard take something in pocket children. Hard people start talking about it. Yes, man. And it starts, listen to me. It starts spreading in the neighborhood. Yeah. In the way you live. Boy, you know, said deacon. Me, de, me, me go more look up at me and say. Uh -huh. uh, ten years from now. Ten years. It's still attack. So it impact by my children. Because when people see my, my children, they must say, boy, your father didn't do this. Are your father do that? You get what I'm saying? So the man, remember what David do, you know? You understand me? Because some man started doing foolish now and people remember now. Listen to me. Poor him, him, dear him, some man's son, him, we're, we're born. Oh boy, oh boy. Him, him, listen to me, the man that do nothing, you know? But you see everything, you see everything come down by him. The man, the man don't get, listen to me, the man only get one little tribe, Judea. And the man said, boy, he might go fight back. If he try to get her back. And the prophet said, no. Because this is what happened. It is of the Lord. Yes. So listen to me. So sometimes, brethren, we do things and it takes an impact on our children. That's why anything we are make, we have to make right decision. Because it will, it will impact our children. Because, listen to me, people start looking down for your, your children, them. You understand me? People now go on. Listen to me, poor people in the center. You understand me? Listen to me, poor people in the center, but people don't want, people don't want their own them because they say, boy, your father does and you will do the same thing too. Yes, yes, my line, my so it, it will impact. That's why we have to make, make sure anything we are do. We make good decisions that it don't impact those around us. That's why we as parents make the right decision. As parents say the right things. Because it will come back around. Praise him. Praise his name. We praise him. Praise Anybody understand that? Go ahead, preach. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. I like a question. Praise is all in him. But you know, from even, it does have an impact. Because even it might, it might be like somewhere people just actually can gravitate, but it does have an impact because even from the beginning, you know, the Lord, the Lord said because of Eve, or woman got baby in a penal and something, everything has an impact. From God's second away, everything has an impact. It might not be that devastating impact, but if you serve your way and, and be truthful, be the person of the Lord, then you won't be such a, a, a penalty on you. You see what I'm saying? But it, it does have an impact. Seeing everything has an impact. Do to how God said it because God Himself made certain things happen because of sin or disobedience. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. On the same thing? Go ahead. You come down into it? You'll be fine. Praise Him. Praise Him. Bless the Lord. Praise Him. The one thing I was thinking about um, was generational curse. Praise the Lord. And um, we all have an opportunity, or whoever is in the situation has an opportunity to break that curse. And um, I was looking at it and saying, you know, when, you, when your parents um, 
make a mistake and, and the scar is there. The scar will always be there, but you don't have to walk in that same pathway. You don't have to take, take the same measures as they did or do as they did. There's an opportunity for you to break that curse, for you to, to change. And that was what Jeroboam was given. He was given an opportunity to, um, to come up. And when God called us to come up, we, you know, you, your parents can do the worst ever, but you don't have to be them. You can learn from their mistakes. You can take the responsibility and then come up from there. It may be a struggle because that is always going to um, almost like hang over your head. It's always going to be, oh, that is Sister Baxter's daughter. You don't have one, so use that. That's Sister Baxter's daughter. That Sister Baxter did this on our daughter, whatever the case may be. But that child can rise up out of the ashes. Yeah. That, right, that child can come up in beauty of holiness because they don't have to take. When you look at what was happening before, you learn from it. And that's, that's where some of our mistakes is that, that we, we tend to fall back into the pattern of what our parents did instead of learning. So I do this because this is what my mother did. Or I, this is how my father did talk to me. And I use an excuse. My father was a yeller, is a yeller, screamer. And, 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 and that's what it was. And I tend to say, well, I'm going to do it because. But I know better because I came from that. Oh. So I ought to try and to do better. So although there will be a mark left, I don't have to make that mark stand on me. And you, and you always, when you're raising your children, it's always to make them, to raise them to be better than what you were, to come up from where you were. Yeah. Because you don't want it to drop where you are, drop below your right, step where right. you were. You want them to rise above oh. that. So you tell them of your mistake that you made. You tell them of the, 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 the things that you did that was wrong. And you say, I don't want you to walk into that path. So I'm, I'm warning you now. So do this so that curse can be broken. If they're steadfast, my few words here. Are we praise him? Yes, it's again. Praise his name. She's fine alone. Just a little thing, brethren. You know, I was thinking that, um, you know, um, the Bible talk about for those who follow after God precepts and, and his commandments, what going to become of it. And then he shows you, if you don't, what going to become of it. Praise the Lord. Amen. And um, Sister Riley hit something um, yeah. You know, in yeah. my head, and I was thinking, brethren, you see, no sin goes unpunished for real. And I was just saying, you see, you see, some of us they're praying, some of us don't even know the situation. We come and right. see right. the situation where it is, brethren. I was just thinking, you, know, you have some man, then pick up some woman. You have some woman, pick up some man. So, you know, some pick up children, whatever the situation they are in, brethren. Right. And whether they are pleading or cry or whatever. And God knows that them never in a listening. You know. When they were the warning, <laughs> when they were talking to you and said, no marry the man, no good on there. <laughs> and you keep on going down there. No good and down no, there. You, are, you have two picnic, no father. Are you... you you know, whatever the situation yeah. may be. To one you know, yeah. our, our brethren, you, you see want. some people in some marriage and you say, God, do. Remember such and such. And, he, and, and you say, you know, what kind of person that you go pick up or whatever it may be. And you did their cry for him. And God has said, he never listen. You know, when he not get warning and I get warning, you know, he step up. He step out of the, not the narrow pathway, you know. And, and God that deal with him, you know, because guess what? He not remain in his statues and not doing commandments. And, and, and just as all, what Sister Rina said and what the others said, brethren, we either can make our lives better in God if we follow his precepts. Yes, there is something there, you know, a payment if you step out a boundary. And there is a payment if you maintain. So we have to constantly maintain in order for those things don't follow us. No mind shall brethren you dear, and you might even start out bad. And the margin of um, Vanji. Mm. But but God work it out that in changing man heart and yes, turn sir. it. And, and, and so that the man come. But the person have a testimony say, mm. Brethren, I didn't listen enough. You know, I may get my portion and whatever. And so therefore I, I, I want to make mention and, and let it be a highlight to us today. That let us be careful. Because it's not only just to think about um, you know, just the ch children are just you know, just why I, I want us to really think about our lives and the decisions that we make, yes, and the, the things that we choose because sin sweets, you know. Yes, sin, I always say, I don't know why bad feels so good, 
But brethren, based <laughs> on that bad, that feel good. Just like, you know, you know, no white, white flour tastes so good. But guess what? Diabetes and different things come with it. We praise his holy name. You go out there, they pick up this man here, you pick up this woman here, and, and, and then you pay feet. And so let us be careful of all that we do. Because just as the Bible says, Gen um, a um, you shall have generation blessing. It says that um, a thousand... What? Mercy, yeah, mercies so unto those of yes. them that love me and keep yeah. my commandments. For those who don't, he give you also yeah. what will happen. Yeah. And so, yes, brethren, let us be careful for the decision that we make because no sin go unpunished. Praise him. All right, we praise his name. Praise him again. I love all of them. But I, I want to jump back to Sister Nikki's own, oh, like love. Sister Campbell. Let me tell you. God tell David, God tell David, preach and say, I forgive you for the sword. You know, so I mean, I'm not all your court differently, but the man said, hey, you have to go pay. And you see, when David was paying the different things that happened within his house, preacher, imagine, imagine preacher, a man rape your own sister. And when you look, you know, you know, says because of what you do, you know. Yes, yes. And the prophet, we, we, we come, come to the door, the man, the same man before him leave. Tell you, say, I forgive you, but this is going to happen. So, so preacher, it depends, you know. When you do your sin, preacher, some people skill. But there are some, preacher, preacher, when you, when you get a youth, you have to take care of the youth all your life. So every time you have to put out preacher, you remember. Yes. Say this is my this was my error. Yes. Yes. Praise his holy name. Yes. I saw God work, but preacher, the God will serve. If I give you a no preacher, yes. but still you have to remember, say I went wrong somewhere. Yes. 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 Or oh, somebody worship God. Yes. Or oh, somebody worship his name. Yes. And so, amen. Preacher, just as though um David, he was told that the sword wouldn't leave his house. Amen. Um, preacher, the only way, if I do some folly, preacher, based on the, 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 the end part of the commandments going down, you know, I mean, the only, sometimes, preacher, the only way Janita escape it is because she repent. Amen. Yes. But preacher, you see the one who decides to say, no, I ain't on board no church. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when they observe their life, they have it rough. Mm-hmm. Preacher, we wouldn't, we wouldn't understand the things that Repentance breaking up. Amen. Preachers only got the things that repentance away with. And preacher got, got different things. So when God tells us don't do something, and you, you still go down the road and do it, preacher. There is always some consequence to it, even though he forgive you. Praise his holy name. Or somebody worship God. It's just like sometimes, preacher, we, we always tell people, you see, right now, you see, sexual sin, preacher, is not a regular action. It's not a regular action. You pick up things. Praise is well in him. You pick up things where you don't want. And that is why we tell people, say, married within the church of God. Some people don't want to hear this, you know. But that whole part we talk about. Praise his holy name. And so we talk the same thing every time. But this is the standard that, that maintains the church of the living God. That's why we talk them. And that's why they thought John the, um, Jesus was John the Baptist. Praise his holy name. And Jeremiah preached a song like Ezekiel. And, 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 and Ezekiel sound like Isaiah. Praise his holy name. And so preacher. Let me tell you. you see this house. Preacher will be satisfied. Yeah. If in this house anybody go offline where they have to suffer some consequences, it will be on you. You cannot walk out and say, you never get the warning. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. And so I, I, I pray that, that God will sit on his throne. will spear spear you to make it right praise his holy name 
Oh, somebody worship God. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. Bridget, let me tell you something. The backsliders out there, because I just talked to a few, and sometimes I'm led to ask them, when you get up, how you regular day go, how you feel? You ever think that if you die, this is it for you? Come on. Say it till you ring out. Then at the moment, man. Preach of the Lord are coming out. You know, see what happened to Israel. Israel are fighting against itself. And that is one place where we have to watch. Preach of the some boy around. We don't know what kind of boy that is. We don't know nothing yet, man. Preach and see some boy around and instead of SLR or whatever, the boy that puts us in the ground when they let it go to preach. <laughs> preach I can't for miles. Preach and when the thing drop, preach and it lick down three story building, all kind of something. The coming of the Lord is near. Praise his holy name. And so we are, we are trying to tell people, um, you see everyone sitting under this roof and online, we know the truth. Praise his holy name. Amen. But you see, just as I sit and lurk around until he take away from Solomon, the truth preacher. Do you know that there's a spirit that lurks around? That wants to take your testimony away from you? Oh, yes. oh, yes. And want to take it Sunday? And want to take it Monday? Amen. Praise his holy name. Praise. And preacher, we need to stop set up ourselves. Because preacher, more likely when the sin, when the temptation come to you at your yard. Yes. You know, so you will overcome it. Oh, yes. But you know, we don't know. We, we, we make provision for the flesh. Yes. We say, meet me at the corner like Gregory Isaac. Yes, and we know what's going to happen down there. Yes. Praise his holy name. Yes. Oh, somebody worship God. Amen. And so, the man, I, I read, I, um, let me read it. I read a, a, a verse last week in, um, in, in, um, in Psalm. Psalm powerful, you know? The man say, yeah, do your thing and come and keep silent. You know, think, say. You don't think. You think me agree. Amen. Praise his name. In Psalm 50. He said, don't give us thy mouth. I'm starting at verse 19. 19. Don't give us thy mouth to evil. Thy tongue frame it deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. I mean your own brother, you know. Amen, These things hast thou done. And I kept silent. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself. And I will reprove thee and set thee them in order before thine eyes. And he said, Now consider this. He that forget godless I tear in pieces. Mighty God, and there will be none to deliver. Praise his holy name. Man, say because I keep silent. Because I, no, nobody will rebuke you. And they still call you. And you're bold enough and you come. And the Holy Ghost don't move. I mean, no, there, but it don't move. It don't move. Guess what? You're in a problem, you know? Because you'd be better off it, if it moves. For he that is without chastening is a bastard and not a son. When you live a certain way, and you don't get no call out preacher. And deep down in your heart, you believe you're okay. You are on a slippery path. So many of us don't love to, be, love to be pulled at the altar. But you would be better off. At least you would know where you stand. But right now, me attack, you don't know where you're there. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. But preacher, mercy. Is still available. Praise his name. Amen. Praise his holy name. Yes, Glory to God. After the death of Solomon, what, what part did his son Rehoboam play in fulfillment of God's word? Brother Jamal, when, I'm, when I answer this question, I'm going to take your hand. Oh, Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise Him. Him. Um, 
1 Kings 12, 16 through 19. And it says, So when all Israel saw that the king hearkened not unto them, the people answered the king, saying, What portion have we in David? Neither have we inheritance in the son of Jesse to your tents, O Israel. Now see thine own house. David is Israel departed unto their tents. But as for the children of Israel, which dwelt the cities of Judah, um, Rehoboam reigned over them. Then the king Rehoboam sent Abraham forth. Adoram, who was over, who was over tribute, and all Israel stoned him with stones, that he died. Therefore, King Rehoboam made his tent to get him to get him up to his chariot to flee to Jerusalem. Um, Nineteen preacher. Okay, so Israel rebelled against the house of David until this day. That's right. All right. Um. Can you answer? What um, after the death of Solomon, what part did um, Re his son Rehoboam played in fulfillment of God's words? Is that Israel stone them with stone? No, he, he, he ruled um, one tribe. He went one tribe. He, he ruled over one tribe. He didn't hearken. He didn't hearken to the people, and then answered the king, saying, "What proportion? What proportion we have in David?" We praise him. <laughs> praise his holy name. Praise him. None of us can stop the will of God. You know? Praise his name. Praise him. Um, Rehoboam knew his place. And so he didn't he didn't join in with the others, but he, he did as as was um prophesied in the words of God. And he ruled over just a tribe, praise his name. Virgin, I pray that when when our eyes are closed in deacon, we will not leave the church in confusion. Praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. Amen. Brethren, I'm asking a, a serious question. What are you pray? Want to pray for me? Yes. It's not easy, you know. Amen. If, if, if you say it's easy, you're not leading anybody. But if you care about people, Amen. one soul can stress you out for the week. One soul. Stress you all the way out. And we're not leading children. No. We're leading people, grown people. Yes. But because you love people and want people to make it into the kingdom, yes. your decision can impact me that I can't eat my dinner. Yes. Glory to God. Praise, Praise his holy name. Yes. Virgin, I want, I want to make it into the kingdom. I want you to make it too. And God wants you to make it, you know. Oh, yes. Because what is prepared there is prepared for the devil and his angels, you know. Yes. Sure. What is prepared as punishment is to burn spirit in a brother Jamal. So can you imagine the cry that will be in that fire? Because of the devil and his angels preacher. Yes. It, was it was made for to punish. So just by reading these things preacher we should want to continue with the Lord. Praise his holy name. Amen. Let me ask a question to the church. Are you limited because of disobedience? Yes. Think, look in your life good. Amen. Look where you are, spiritually and physically, in every way. Are you limited because of your disobedience to God? You know, God has some good bless you, you know. But I see that you leave me. Is it that God have to keep me in my little red car for me to stay with him? Come on, sir. Come on, sir. 
Preacher God, Preacher Solomon was rich. Preacher David was rich. Preacher Abraham was rich. The Bible said the land couldn't hold them. Jacob rich. Preacher, when 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 Esau when when Esau come meet Jacob, you know, and Jacob said the little little gift them together. And when he sent them, the man said, Man, I have enough. They never have frazzled preacher. I don't know where them dinner come from tonight. They went preacher when they look and see the, the, the angels visit them in the, in the plains of Mamre in 18 preacher. The man said, Go prepare a kid. When I talk about one five pound, go talk about one five or one three pound. The man said, Prepare a kid. Dress it, preacher. But is our actions making God afraid, saying, um, I don't think he must stay? I hope that's not the, 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 the reason. Praise his name. Praise his holy name. The man said, Nothing good he will be told. From what? For those who walk uprightly. It tells me that you walk, limit what you get from God. If you walk contrary, you can't dance like God. God will dance with you, you know. Dip and come up back with you. Because that's the furthest you will go. Your disobedience limits you in God. You understand me say that? Brother Jamal. Shall I praise the Lord? Praise God. Shall I praise the Lord again? Praise Him. Shall I praise God again? Praise Him. Um, I thought that I was thinking of while I was reading the scripture um, last night, or even earlier today, I was thinking about Solomon. Praise Him. Yes. And I was thinking that truly a life, a life in church, or my life, could be led, or could be spoke as a, te a lesson yes, or an encouragement. Praise Him. Yes. But I was looking at Solomon, and I see that because. I was looking at like what he did, you know, God warned him about the women, God warned him about the sin. Yes. And even throughout Kings, I was reading early in Kings in that, or even with the memory verse, because when I read the memory verse last night and I read it, I realized that this same verse was spoken of prior many times. Yes, ma'am. And I see that even though throughout all the warnings that Solomon got, he still didn't listen. And I was applying it to like my life and our life today. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was applying it to our life today that that same thing is still going on today, or even with my life. When God's speaking to me, it may not be big, it may not be uh, in church all the time, but when God's speaking to me throughout the words or anything like that, I need to take heed and I need to listen. My because God. if I don't take heed, the scripture shows that song, um, shows everything that happened to Solomon. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Even I was looking at, or even Deacon spoke on it a little bit earlier, but when talk, when, uh, where is his name? Uh, well, I don't know. No, yeah. Uh, hi, hi yeah, Hada. Yeah, him. Praise the Lord. Amen. When I was Amen. looking at him and I was thinking that truly, and I was, it was in verse 22. Yeah, verse 22 at the end of it when Pharaoh was basic, basically asking Hada, like, why is he going back to the land? And Hada really just said to him, like, there is nothing. Like, he's just going back. Praise the Lord. And I was like, I was like, God, he, you really, you can do extraordinary things to protect us, to guide us, to help us. But if we walk away from your will, you can do extraordinary things to my put man. the things back on the space. My, my, my. Whatever Prius you don't truly stay with them, it will it will happen again. Praise yes. God. I even applied to my life where an example is with first Sunday fasting for my job. Yes. I remember that when I just started working there, I I didn't have first Sunday free. And I started to pray about it, and I was like, God, please bless me with first Sunday, because I want to go to church. Mm -hmm. And he made the way, and I was able to. Yes, but God. then things happened, and I wasn't truly, instead of going to first Sunday and giving God on um, worship and fasting, oh, I wasn't doing that. I came to church, it's like, I was treating it like a, I was treating it like it was a problem. Oh, like it was an issue. Come on, no. And then it's, 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 it's literally like, I think it was like two, two, or first, two or three first Sundays that I had that mindset. And literally, like soon, like in the middle of the week when I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start treasuring for Sundays again. Something happened at my job where I lost the first Sunday. Oh I can't um, come back to first God. Sunday fasting. So now it's a struggle for me to even try to come back to first Sunday fasting. Praise him. Praise him. So it showed me that I lost something because I didn't treasure it. I lost yes. something because God gave it to me and I misused it. Come on, so it's good to even show, um, share that same example that even with us, 
you're with the young people. Whenever we ask something for God, whenever God allows something for us, we have to treasure it. We have to, we have to treat it right because just like how God gave it to us, He can still take yes, it away. Yes, ma'am. Praise His name. Praise Him, the church. Praise His holy name. Man said, just like how God gave it to you, He can take it away from you. But Jamal, God bless you. You know, and I, I encourage you to continue to be a part of Sabbath school. You know, come with a thought. You know, you know. I don't know what I'm saying. You know. when you come, you have to come with something. You know. When you look last night, you can't. You can't think about one little question. I don't know. I'm. You. You must grow. And I'm encouraging your growth, preacher. Grow. Fifty-two Sabbath. You look in the lesson. You don't have a question. You don't have an input. Preacher, sometimes I look for Tuesday, I have a question for Sabbath, you know. Because when I look preacher, I already know more of an axe. Praise his name. Be a part of what is happening. Zone in and get your blessing. Praise his name. Oh, somebody worship God. Preacher, I love my wife. But if I put my wife before God, God can take my wife from me. I got the man I say, you know. Yes, man. A chemosh. What is our chemosh? I know our milcom and our asterisk. What 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 is our, what is ours? Because preacher, when you don't maintain, you will meet these gods. These lowercase gods, you're gonna meet them. Brother Samuel, maintain in the Lord, my son. You can make it. I don't know nobody your 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 age that play play bass the way you do. But I want I, I start you're, you're nine or ten? Nine. You're nine. I start playing at your age. You start playing before. But you know what I give God thanks for? I'm not on top of anything, but not famous like the others. But preacher, I'm in the Lord. Preacher, when you reach, just watch me. Just like we said this morning, follow me as I follow Christ. Be a rounded musician. Who is not just a musician, but a worshiper. That when you pick up the guitar, they can call you from the guitar to comment on the scriptures. Or oh, somebody worship God. Or oh, somebody worship his name. We don't want just a, 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 a player preacher. We want a worshiper. Praise his holy name. Me hear no last night, you know. I go on and I say, Mr. Rina, you hear that? You think I'm not going to take you over, you know? Praise the Lord. I say, yeah, man, things are going on. Praise the Lord. But preacher, it's a good, it's a good vibe. And many people wouldn't even baptize your age, but we did that. Because we must live and lead by example. So if your father is a minister, we more than we, we more than baptize you. Preacher, when you when you become 15 and it get hard, you can make it. Oh, somebody worship God. When you start grow teenager bump and the girl them I come around your school, you can still make it. Oh, somebody worship God. Because preacher, when you're a blessing in the house of God, and I want you to know that. Praise his holy name. Brother Gabriel, you you in the same breath, my son. You can make it. Praise his holy name. I listen to you preach the word. I see that something is in you. Praise his holy name. You can have mommy's nature, you know. Oh, Gabriel a daddy. Samuel is daddy. Samuel a daddy. No, the way that he acts. He's his dad. Gabriel even talk like your mother. He talk calm like Sister Buck. But, 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 but the young preacher, who is there? He's outside. Mikey. Young preacher and this preacher. Mikey. He's dad. They preach to me all the time. Vulture! <laughs> Praise his name. Praise the Lord. But preacher, I'm encouraging you. To continue in the Lord. Praise his holy name. One day you'll be standing here. Doing what your father and, and, and 
the ministers do what we do and, and the young men coming up. You will do what we're doing. Praise his holy name. Now may the Lord help us to live that when we pass the button to Brother Samuel, when he's deacon booking and at that time. Amen. Amen. He, he, Amen. The church will not be in confusion. Amen. You must be able to stand here with a peace of mind, Brother, brother Samuel. Brother Samuel. Yes, I'm not confused. But preachers, it's, it, it's based on us. Yes, May the Lord have mercy. Yes, Preacher, we don't want God to be angry based on our actions. And God say, no, say, me love, me love, me love Pastor Campbell, you know? and, and, and some things go on. But if, if, if I never, because of the mercy of the Lord, and him father, <laughs> Come on. I would split up Georgia, you know? oh But because I don't love him, I have him, and in daddy, yeah. I'm going to still let it all split. Yeah. But most of you going to remain here. Come on, sir. I hope that's a false prophecy. Preacher, I don't get from the listen. My action can impact mm -hmm. what comes after me. Yes. 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 Preacher, when nothing will happen from you, it will happen from the leaders. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. Preacher, do you ever get anything that you know you don't deserve? That's what happened to Jeroboam. You know? Jeroboam is like Saul. You know? He don't deserve it. You know? Preacher, them same is a strong man. The Bible call him a man of valor. I'm preacher, the man that Egypt is a preacher. I'm preacher because Solomon, you know, Solomon have a little thing, you know, and Solomon says, Oh, my, I do see what. And he run good on there, you know. And preacher, when he hears the man dead in the man, the man come back, you know. Come and the people yeah. say, oh, come in. God of mercy. <laughs> preacher, I pray that God Almighty will help us that we don't cause confusion. Preacher, when you look at the life of Jeroboam, the Bible said he took the lowest of men, you know. And he make them, he, he man, the Bible said the man set up some altar, you know. One in a dan and, and the other wherever else. Yeah. Bethel preacher. Preacher, the man said, oh, at a time for sacrifice at the ninth month. The sixth month, so you know what happened? In, in case them heart go after Rehoboam, and remember the old feast that happened in Israel. In Solomon and David time, and just like them preach and the whole of them. In, in case their heart go, go and everybody gone left me. These be your gods, O oh Israel, that took you out of Egypt. Preacher, and because they are scarred from, from what happened around, so you know. Preacher, I wonder if Jeroboam didn't remember Gideon. I wonder if Jeroboam didn't remember Aaron. I want, preacher, you see what I'm saying? Preacher, the leader of a lot, you have a, give me not talk about a lot. The leaders have everything to do with the church and what it become. Preacher, the Bible said, the man said, these be no gods. And preacher, they said, no, we're not doing it. Preacher, them said, oh, around the world, I just could preacher, they skip from Bodom to it. All kind of something happened, preacher. And God say, you? You are Mark. Preacher, the old part, the old part, I say this all the time, I'm going to say it again. I must live that Sister Ariel respect me. I must respect Sister Ariel's body. A whole part we are talking about, you know. Sister Ariel mustn't be afraid of me. I'm using her because she's my beautiful cousin. But I'm using her as an example. If years to come, if years to come, preacher, if years to come, I'm not here anymore. Maybe by death or migration, whatever it is, preacher. And if, if, if she visit, 
So, mother, please. She must have good things to say about Vanji. Am I saying anything wrong? Come on. Come on. I must love my wife. We can't try a thing with my wife. Exactly. No, we just put it all like that. Because many of us trying a thing. All part. All time, Holy Ghost. That if me, but me, I try a thing and come back when more minister to God, people. Holy Ghost, drape me up. That is why I love the anointing in the church of God. Let this house be an anointed house. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Preacher. May God have mercy. May God have mercy. Many times you, 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 you talk like this, people skin up their face and say, that is not even among us. Enlighten your darkness, I beseech thee, O God. May light come. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Bridging from the moment God started his church. Satan followed the army band. Satan is always peeking around to get the weak ones. Like the lion and the hunt. Praise his name. Sister Clark, you have your hand up. Praise, Praise the Lord. I had a, um, a thought was in my mind from you were talking earlier, um, and I wanted to share it. Um, when I was reflecting on Solomon and, um, you know, just the glory of what he built. Yes. And I was thinking to myself that, you know, we have to be so careful because you know, sometimes God is, God established himself in us. But, you know, no, it, it's not how we practice idolatry shows us um, how we're gravitating to the different gods. Yes. And um, I was thinking about how we feel around Christmas time and around Easter time. And, or you feel so like true. eat bun. Yes. Or you feel like buy people gifts or yes. show your appreciation yes. at that time or you know whatever it is that you feel to do and i remember say asterat easter come from asterat you know? come on, come on. and i mean all these things is like it's so oh, linked sometimes when That's i watch strange. movies and see on the highlight certain things i'm like these people really wanted these traditions to live on and that's why we have to be so careful the things that we cling to and the things that we gravitate to and just the feelings in the ear that make you feel inclined to show that you love because of valentine's day are feel inclined to you know show your mom you appreciate her because her mother's there whatever it is you know we have to be careful <laughs> because it is us building on those little little extra pieces on what God has given you and honor and 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 these other gods when you think that you know this vessel belongs to God you really on, are drift away from him because you are giving honor to all these things because you're gravitating because of all that is going on and even myself you know in a school system sometimes I make myself forget about all you know uh, all these holidays but then, you know, like, especially Christmas time when it come around yes. and stuff, even in my lesson, them sometimes yeah, I say, should I have them counting or ornaments? <laughs> or, you know, these things, sometimes you get these lessons from different places and then you yeah, say, me have to be careful. Okay, you say, well, it is the season and <laughs> nothing around with <laughs> counting ornaments or counting pepper lights or so whatever true. they're doing very subtle but you know you have me just have to be careful oh, yeah. you know me, me I, I i question all these things in my mind and the trouble even me me i said god help me so my, my heart is not gravitating now uh, you know i know it, it just came to my mind because it's so big yeah when you say it you know it's so like i'm you know nobody is not my idol but 
uh, they set it up so much in the store where it make you kind of inclined to do those things. And it's just for us to be aware and be careful. Praise his name. We praise his name. Amen. And we endorse the thought, Sister Clark. Um, I'm going to take, Brother Riley, I'm going to take question three and then I'll take your hand, sir. What is destined to occur when division takes place? First Kings 12, 20 to 24. And it came to pass when all Israel heard that Jeroboam was come again, that they sent and called him unto the congregation yes. and made him king over all Israel. Yeah. There was none that followed the house of David, but the tribe of Judah only. And when Rehoboam was come to Jerusalem, he assembled all the house of Judah with the tribe of Benjamin, and a hundred and four score thousand chosen men, which were warriors, to fight against the house of Israel, to bring the kingdom again to Rehoboam, the son of Solomon. But the word of God came to Shemaiah, the mm -hmm. man of God, saying, Speak unto Rehoboam, yes, the son, son of Solomon, king of Judah, and all and unto all the house of Judah and Benjamin, and to the remnant of the people, saying, Thus said the Lord, Ye shall not go up, nor fight against your brethren, the children of Israel. Return every man to his house, for this thing is from me. Mm -hmm. They hearken therefore to the word of the Lord, and return to depart according to the word of the Lord. Praise his name. Praise Sister his name. Fraser, what is destined to occur when division takes place? War and fighting. Yes. Praise his name. Glory to God. We praise his name. Bridging obedience is the very best way to show that we believe. Praise his name. Um, see, Israel, the other portion of people believe that they could fight. But the word of the Lord came through the man of God and tell them that, hey, this is from me. This is a, this this um happened through a number a series of things leading up to this. Therefore, leave it alone, cause my word must come to pass. Praise His holy name, brethren. I can't say it anymore. Let us live in obedience before God, because and when you get the warning, take the warning. And and I wonder in myself if when you don't listen, <laughs> and. Judgment take you now. If you should walk around and beg everybody to pray. I wonder in myself. You know? Because these warning, you couldn't pray to change this, you know? You can't do a seven day and change this in a preacher. You better walk around and eat some food. <laughs> Praise his holy name. Because God's words, they are God's words. It's just like I say it all the time. When you hear that, um, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. No. When you start to have problems, when you say, I do to, to the problem, and when you start to live and judgment is upon you, can I pray to change it? So I think we need to read Jeremiah 7 and start to ask God, should I pray for this? Because God tells Jeremiah, don't pray, no. Nor make intercession. Because when you pray and nothing will happen, it's best to listen to the encouragement. And the, the number of people don't join that group that been walking around here talking about no man in a Zion. The moment you say that you limit God for any and anything and anybody to come to you. And you'll find yourself with the wrong person. You, God will do what you limit him to do. Praise his holy name. Look at those people going up in age and still lonely. Every day that's their song. No man is in the church. That's your song. I limit you based on what you say. You won't get anybody. All in you want them to come, they will walk to somebody else. Praise his holy name. Praise God, God own uh, the Bible to the world and they that dwell there in a preacher. Do you understand that you, one can come tomorrow just for you? Now when your feet end with your eyesight end, you make God angry. And I know many, many listening don't really believe this, what I'm saying right now. But send a Moses in your direction. Let me kill somebody and run right into you. <laughs> Sister Malay, be yourself. Praise his holy name. 
May God bless us, preacher. But this disobedience brings confusion. It brings confusion in your family. This week I had to go and read back um, Joshua chapter 7. Preacher, do you know that every person you say I do it can be a Babylonish garment? <laughs> Think about it. I'm just saying, listen. Praise God. Before you sisters, Sophie, I'm going to take Brother Riley and then you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise, Praise the Lord. Um, Praise his name. I have a, a comment and also I had a question that I got from somebody. And I'll just start with the, the comment. Um, he kind of touched on it, Banji, so I won't be long. Yes. Um, you know, as we are talking, as the subject talks about seek the whole pathway, I was looking at myself and I was saying I'm like a sponge right now. And if you, if you forget what I'm trying to say, like I'm a sponge, when you put it in water, it sucks up all of the water. Wow. Right now I'm learning, learning from the older, the, the older brethren, the ones who have been in this quite a while, or sometime, you know, learning about what the old pathway is. Really? You know, Deuteronomy talks, and I'll just read a bit of it, it says, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto the children, and yes, shalt no. talk of them when thou sittest in yes. thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou rises up, um, praise the Lord. Amen. You know, as I'm here, I, I'm learning from each and every single one of you. I'm learning from you, Brother John, Sister Sophia, Sister Baxter, Brother Baxter, Banji, Deacon, Pastor, every one of you. You know, when I was in Maryland, I, I had a, a different mindset about how church was supposed to you right, know, be. Because right. that's what I learned in the past. But when Amen. I came here, I realized that, hey, I really do have to stop and, and like, take... Even if it's even if it's an hour in the week, just read the words of God because yes. they will call me yes. at some point. I'm gonna come there. I don't know any songs. And anybody I may mean, always better job, I always say to me, I always say cousin, I don't know no songs to fill the, the space with the middle of that talk. So I have to have something else to say. Shall we pray to her? And and as it goes on, Banji, and you're saying up you talk about the future. You know, if the, the young ones know, make sure that you're soaking up the good, the good words, the yes, good way. Make sure you, you know, know what the whole gospel way is. Shall yes. we praise the Lord? I was talking to my mother and she was saying to me that if life got gone back to Jamaica right now and she didn't have that, she can walk in her house with her bunks in her car. She know how the path, she know, know how the place. everything is. And that's the way that we ought to be. In, in this on this way, even if we didn't end up, it's by ourselves we're supposed to can you know, walk it without, without yes. drop, without stumble, without make a mistake. Praise 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 Lord. Praise and that is what the old pathway is. It's, it's, it's a pathway that's been trodden so much yeah, man, that man. we close the eyes where we can walk on it and on our deathbeds. We're supposed to can say, you know, that we, we, we suffered through a lot, but we made it over. We are counted as one of those whose name is written in the book. Shall we praise him? Yeah, and him. that is what this old pathway is for the young ones. Learn. Watch, watch the elders. When I, I was saying to somebody that, um, I guess they thought that I used to bake a very long time. I've, I've never baked till after I was married. That was the first time. It wasn't even like the first few months. It was like, it was like the sixth month. I learned when it was actually start baking. But all of these years, I've been watching my mother. When she bake it up, me go and lick it pan. So we get the class, but I watch her and, and I learned and the little things that I don't understand. We go and we call her, and we ask her, and we, you know, and we, and we do learn to, to to talk to your elders, learn to 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 ask them like why why you do this a certain way. Learn, you know, get the, the concrete knowledge yeah. of what is the old pathway is. You right. can walk the pathway and it look alright, but know the the, the the knowledge behind it. Understand it why. Figure out any yep. any any profession you're in. If, 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 if you don't understand the ideas behind it, when a situation comes with it, when, a, when a exactly like how it looks, right. you have yes. no clue how to see the situation. Shall we praise, praise the Lord? And the old pathway, it, is, it has been there. And even if you ask somebody, if you ask you right now, Banji, you can probably tell me, say, somebody explain something to you and, and correct you when you, when you do yes, some crap. Yes, and that is how it is. Learn from the elders. Learn from the older ones. They have the knowledge. They have been through something. Learn from them. And be ready to teach even the elder ones. Learn and remember that. What you are doing now, we are soaking up. And if you teach me the wrong way, I'm going to continue it until somebody come correct me. And, 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 you, and as one you say, you don't want to leave confusion when you're gone. You want to leave a, a good path where so we can just jump on and just continue. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise, praise, God. praise God. And um, the question, I was trying to get in quite a while now, but I just kind of sum it up. All right, so um, Ahija um, rented um, Jeroboam's um, garments. <laughs> And they were asking, is there any significance why he did it that way? Why couldn't he have just told him? Or was it just to explain what would have happened? 
All right, let me just answer real quick. Um, preacher, God work. Oh, he want to work. Um, Brother Baxter told us the story of the lady who went home and all of us has full of water, the kitchen sink of water, and sit in it. Sit in it, preacher. The kitchen sink, you know. You know, we don't, we don't put our, our body parts in that, that part of the thing there. So that, that doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right, preacher, but I saw God want it to happen. Where when a gunman come around and see, look a woman, you sitting in the sink? You know, we're killing. That's how God protect preacher. The Bible said, David, preacher, when he found out that the man wasn't in favor of him, the Bible said, man start, the man start around on his spit pan and beard. The man said, what, what you survive from mad men? Take him from before me. And when David come out, when they take him out, David said, oh, you can't catch me again. Praise the Lord. Praise his name. So preacher, to, to in, um, in responding to their question, God, God allow him to do it just as all. You see, when you're given a directive, you have to do just as it has been told to you. You cannot add to it or take away. So that's how God wants to spell it out so that even today it is clear to us. I hope the person is helped. Praise his name. Sister, Sister Sophie. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise his name. I just have a brief comment and then I have um, a question. Um, as you mentioned about the Babylonish garment, if you remember the description that Achan gave to it, he said the goodly, goodly yes. Babylonish garment. And so, and, and as, as I think about it, the things look good to him. That's why he described them that way. And yes, just looking at it on the surface, everything seem okay. Right. And it's the same way some of the things that we decide to do or some of the things that we choose to do, that's how they look because you don't see anything that is so. um, on the surface that's wrong with it. But God said they were accursed. Right. And they would have bring problem to Israel. And it's the same way in our lives when we, when we make some decisions and we choose to do certain things. God is not just looking on the surface. He's looking below the surface. Yes. And so that's why... I, I really believe that in, sometimes in our life, God just gives us things to see if we'll be obedient. He tests true, us. True. So sometimes something is not necessarily wrong with what he said, don't mm -hmm, touch. Mm -hmm. But he wants to see how obedient oh, you are going to be. Yes, I agree. You know, because we, we'll go and try to rationalize with God, but God, it look okay and everything look all right. So, so why? Yeah, why? But God wants obedience. Praise his holy name. Amen. And he know that if you're going to be obedient, obedient in this little thing, mm -hmm. when something else comes something along, something greater, yeah. Then you will be obedient as well. Yes. Praise his holy name. Praise God. Um, so I was thinking, brethren, about the lesson. It says, seek for the old path. And as far as I'm concerned, we're in Mount Zion, and you would say, we have mm -hmm. the old path, right? Mm -hmm. So, But this lesson says, seek. Seek. And so when you look, Across the church, then, what is the things? What are the things that we don't have that we need to seek, Vanji? <laughs> I want to know what those oh, things are Jesus. that we need to seek for, uh, because it's, the lesson is telling us to seek. It's a good question. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's get some people involved. Sister Marlon, come here. <laughs> This is Sabbath school. We praise the Lord. Praise Him. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Vanjie, while I was sitting there, almost the same thought came to my mind. Yes. But um, I know like the Holy Spirit is one of them because um, like um, back in the days, they say, I remember when sisters such and such used to move in the anointing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like nowadays, we're saying um, like back in the days, like, you know, I have a conversation with somebody earlier this week and um. She was saying that she wanted to be like the old time um, anointing. She said she remembered them when she was growing up. Yep. So this is, that's one of them, the old time ways. Because um, I think like we're too busy. Not true. 
We're too busy nowadays and not seeking the Lord the way that we should. So I would say that's, that's, that's on top of my chart of the things that we need to seek for more. Yes. Because like we have so much things escaping, praise mm -hmm. the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. in the blessed church of God. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're wondering why we're not. It's because we're too busy, Vanjie. Back in the days, the older women, true. they never have all them gadgets and everything that, that is yeah. so distracting. Yeah. Like nowadays, just a phone call, you totally forget to pray. True. Praise the Lord. So mm -hmm. that is one of them. Yeah. Praise, the Lord. praise his name. Church, say amen. Bless the Lord. Glory to God. The songwriter said we need some spirit-filled preachers to teach us right from wrong. We need some old-fashioned seekers who will pray all night long. Preacher, we didn't come up here and say that we have a thing, you know, we're not rich. We have deeper to go, Sister Sophie. We have deeper to go. Some of you, when you want to, if you want to see and know that we have deeper to go, Brother Baxter, some of the things um, Sister Marlon just said it a while ago. Look at it. Even with being so tied up, we're, I mean, the, the limited time that, that we make to pray. And if you're not praying, that means you're not communicating with God, you know. And the connection is weak. So even with this weak connection, look how many people are still seeing things. If you understand what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm pouring out the need to draw nearer then. Just imagine. Can you imagine if we are on one accord, preacher? And spend more time with God. That is why I said so, um, something three weeks ago, and I don't want anybody to get me wrong. I said, we can't go to school forever. You must structure your life and give, make space in your life for God. Go and get what you want, you know. But you know, you know this kind of tendency where after you're done, because you still know you can go, I go back again, and you just keep going. And I mean, it's like you lose out all your life. Sister Sophia, we are not there. We need to seek more. Men's group, we're not there. We're not there. When we, when we, um, we, we're not, I call out we know, because I'm a part of it. Because the question was asked. But I put us on the spot. Look at it. I see the, the women's group doing a few things. I'm preacher. We as a church, there are some things lingering around right in, among in our group that we have prayed for and they stood there looking at us the same way. Them supposed to go. But let me tell you something. And if you want to know if my, my I thought the truth, go and ask God. He will tell you. Preacher, the circumstances that surround us, that still remain supposed to come, and I ask you. Not just that. The Bible says pray and turn. I can't leave from sin. I'm come to healing. The whole part we are talking about, you know. The whole set of people that you made mention of Sister Marlon. These people don't even walk without them head covered. No bad now say must look old. And that we are talking about. But preacher, wherever you see them, they walk with the mindset to pray. You see them in a brownstone in a Jamaica, preacher, or to race wherever. You can say, come here, me need prayer. Go on a corner. And they can summon heaven. Now you know what this generation, most of us, we are doing? We have to go get um, forgiveness first. Because we're not right. The next thing, whole part we are talking about. If I'm not right with Sister um, Sister Sophia, how on earth can I pray and you get healing? And when you pull me to the side, I say, I, boy, I should hurt me and I will never forget, forgive that. And when you, think, when you check it out next month, that's supper, you know. So it's, it's a bunch of things, my dear. We need real people with real conscience. And stop, stop just go through the motion and get real in a God. Praise his holy name. Yeah. Brethren, I'm going to tell you something. When I, when I have corona, you know, I have a time for, for, for talk to God like I, I should, you know. I may tell you, say, you know, one different something. If you make time for God. Somebody said to God, I said, God, say, you have to seek me for me really see, say, something better can happen. 
No, I'm serious. Because preacher, I'm just there. Preacher, I read some Bible. I said, Jesus, peace. I still read it now. Well, you don't have the time like, like when you're there. You know, you're not have to get up. Preacher, you get up. Let me tell you, Sister Sophie is a bunch of things. And Sister Marlon said it right. We don't have the time. Look, how, how can you wake up 3 o'clock to pray? You see, many of us want to be like Sister Daisy. Many of us want to be like Sister Valerie. How can you wake up 3 o'clock to pray when you just go to bed 1 o'clock? You can't wake. You can't wake up. So preacher, because when you wake up that time, Sister Nikki, by 5 again alarm, I go say, come here. You got to go. So preacher, it's a bunch of things, preacher. We want to be like the old time people. Come on, man. Something has got to go, my dear. And so, preacher, believe me, them people that sleep, and when they sleep, I'm back there. It's all right, let's go talk to God. When we're supposed to get up and pray, we just have to sleep. So, we have no good mind. But if some things don't change, preacher, we will never reach praise his name. You can do that, man. Okay. Praise his name. I hope I answer you, Sister Nikki. Sister Sophia. Sister Sophia. There's more to say? Come in, Sister Pastor. You're responding? Come on. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, you yeah, said part of it already, Benji. Um, we talk about the unity. Yes. And being on one accord. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that um, to come to that place, you have to drop off everything. To come to that place, there has to be forgiveness. Yes. To come to that place, there has to be um, a want for that unity. Yes. Because it's one thing to speak it mm -hmm. and to act it, but when it really is true, brethren, we have seen where when we come together to pray, and those who are in the circle pray, we see God move. Mm -hmm. We have seen it many, many times. And, and, and we can testify of the different events that happen where when we come and we say we're going to pray on this behalf and we pray. Pastor testify. I have testified. Others have testified of all of this. So the unity can be there. But because we're in the flesh so much, sometimes we, we, we lose out on the unity that God is calling us for because we, we go back into the state of me, 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 and I, 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 and not looking at the fact that God calls us as a body. He says, he and the, um, the, Jesus said, he and the Father is one, we are to be one. And when one member, one, one, one a part of the, the body is hurting, when a part of the, the body is, 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 is you not know, going through, everybody should feel that. Everybody, but because we're, like again, you come back to time, so we're caught up in so many different, we have work, we have school, we have house, we have children, all the different things to, to take care of. The, 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 the limitation is there. But when we come into the house of God, when we come together, as you know, we, we come on, 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 online to pray, we, we need to make sure so that our heart is right, the circum, you know, that we, our minds are set, we, we all have the same focus. Yes. Because you cannot be united if the same focus is not there. Mighty if God. me have something against you, or you took something wrong, we have to, the Bible said, bring it to the altar, drop yes. it, leave yes. the altar, and go and make it right. And when we make our things right, we can come together and say, Sister Melissa, come, we're going to go pray on this behalf. We, we you know, um, I was th talking to the Lord and I said, God, what is it that you would have me to do? And, you know, just look at things may come into me and the Lord saying, just so and so and so and so. And Bridget, I realized that in order to do it, I had to make the time, I had to change up some schedule, I had to yeah. change up some things yeah. in order to fit in what God wanted me to do. Mm -hmm. And you can't, you can't, do it unless you you have the mind you, the mind is set and you're ready and everybody I remember when I don't know how many people remember uh, Mrs. Wa, Sister Wa, she was a lady that I heard of I have never met her I met her husband but I we hear that when you come into church she'd be laying prostrate at the altar and when you come in if you know you did wrong and you never know so she was there she call you up 
And some people, when they heard that she's in church, they didn't even bother walking. <laughs> because the anointing was so real oh, in her life that when she she should say anything or whatever, you, you know, say, you know, she call you up. I said, she, you didn't even have to tell her. She tell you what you did. And I remember starting out with the Lord, the Lord was using me as well. And I said, God, I want to, even that, I want to go back that, go back to that place. Right, right. What happened? When we had the zeal, when we first fall into the Lord, what happened to that zeal? That first love when you come on and you say, yes, I, I'm doing everything for God. You do your fasting and your praying and you're doing everything for the Lord. And so it's not even seeking, sometimes it's just seeking back where the Lord brought you from and where you started off with him. That could be considered old too. Okay. 20 years ago, that's old. Praise the Lord. But I'm just talking about our hearts coming together to be united on one accord. When the day of Pentecost came, it was real. Because they were on one accord. Their mind and their thoughts was on one thing, one focus. And there was a difference. The, when the Holy Ghost came, people were looking at them like they were drunken. But the Lord made a move. Yes. And that's what we're looking for, the, to be united. Because the divided will fall. But you will not be cancelled, my few words. Praise his name. Go ahead, Deacon. Praise him. God bless Sister Baxter. As a, as a question was asked, I was sitting here thinking and saying what I could say. Yeah. But it's just like what comes to my mind. It's just like somebody who moved in a new neighborhood. Yes. You understand me? You don't know the old part yet. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you take the long road and it burn up gas. Yes, ma'am. Or more time. Yes. But so when you get to the, used to the, the old part, brethren, can you ever see called the old part now? Yes, ma'am. I mean, I see it all the easier way, brethren. You have to go the hard way. So is it, is it just seeking is a continual thing? Yes, man. Because you don't know. When a man move in a new year, new year, I don't know. He don't know where the store is. You understand me? Yes. So I'm going to seek out where the stores them are. So it's the same way when I come. As I say, this is the all. This is, this is the right way, but still I don't know. So you have to seek out what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So seeking for the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the old part is a continual thing. Yes, brother. Because you don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? So it's a learning process. Yes. yes. So since you're going on, you keep seeking more. Because where you're coming from, you probably come from our next church where, you understand me? So you're coming from our next church where, boy, people could have re re divorced or remarried. Right. You never know, say, you understand me? So now you're coming in and you're seeking yes, the whole part to know say boy it's tough. not so. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? You're coming from somewhere, boy, you could have your boyfriend and still come to church and everything and go do your whole thing. And you never know. So now you're seeking the old part and you say that's not so. Come on, preacher. You get what I'm saying? Amen. You could have you're seeking you know, that's a boy, you could have malice anybody until you say the boy is okay, we can pray and that's all right. And you understand me, we do one thing. That's so true. now you're seeking all you know, the old part and say that's wrong. Because the Bible says, every brother have heart against you. He yes. said, leave your lift, get him for the altar. Yes. So now, now you're seeking out, you understand me? Seeking out is, is, a, is a learning more. Yes. So seeking is learning, you know. Amen. So that we do, learning more. Amen. And then we say, when you learn now, the whole part, he said, walk, walk therein. therein. You understand me? Because people seek out things, but they don't really walk in there, you know. Because the people know it and know how walk in there, but I when you sure. find the whole part, the Bible said, do what? Walk the in. Praise his name. Thank you, Deacon. Praise him. Thank, Praise God. Thank you all for all of the comments. Um, I just had, have one thing to add. Yes. That the seeking the, the, the old pathway is also for an example. We're living an ever-changing world and society, and we're raising children yes. in that society. And if we don't teach them how to seek, Mm -hmm. They won't know. That's true. That's true. And so they have to see us doing. Right. We don't just tell them go by pray example. or go spend the time or what have you. Yes. We yes. have to lead by that example. Yes. Showing them how to continuously seek God. Praise because him. Because new things come in and they're wondering, you know, can we, can we not? Mm -hmm. But when you take them back into the word, yes. you realize this is not for us. Yes, ma'am. And so I agree with everything that's been said and that is a continuous thing. And we have to do it also to set an example for our children. Praise his name. Everybody agree? Yes. Praise his holy name. Praise and I agree. Yes. Amen. We have to lead by example. Praise his name. If you are 
Sister Baxter, I, I sometimes I'm puzzled, you know. I say it already and I'm, I'm going to say it again now. You see, for example, you guys pray in the morning. Everybody who pray must love each other. And you see, the more you pray, you're supposed to can love more. Because we are prayed together. That's I cherish that moment with my family. You know, you wouldn't under, I don't have words, Sister Marlon, to tell you. Oh, I appreciate that. When all of us got that coach and we, we need. We don't even spread out enough. We say we don't want to spread out. Knit together. And we talk to daddy. I don't have words to explain how, how I feel about that. And I want it to continue. Praise his holy name. So the more you pray, if you are a candidate for the kingdom of God, I don't say it. We must love one another more. Amen. Amen. And when you're done pray, you see, if you couldn't agree with Vanja, but God of mercy, we pray seven morning. Yes. Together in the early morning. Where the Bible said Jesus, he went into a solitary place. Before it was day. And they prayed. What are you saying in your prayer? You said the wrong thing. Tell God, God, the, the, the flowers is my problem. And you say, right and offend me. But if you cut it off. And God, me know me can't save unless things are right with the flowers. So help me. Tomorrow morning, tell him that. Pray in this way. Otherwise, you'll lose sleep for nothing. Praise his holy name. Amen. Oh, praise his holy name. Amen. So, preacher, it's more than to just say, boy, I get up a man in time and pray. Make sure it is working out. Amen. When you got to the gym, you want to lose weight. Something must feel different in your body. When the chorus to my singer can jump all the way, you don't know, have to get tired out. Because that's what the gym does for you. Amen. And prayer is more than the gym. Preacher, we, we start a thing where we, we go walk. Sometimes it don't work still. But we, we come home and we go walk as a family on the trail. Preacher, sometimes they walk. Some evening they walk longer than some. Preacher, you see when they do all two and you come back, you feel nice. You feel nice, preacher. Heart a beat right. So, preacher, you see prayer? You see the more you pray? God of mercy. You're, you're supposed to be covered. You're in a God secret place because when every time you pray, you drop nearer. The man said, The closer I get, preacher, the more I feel the glory of the soon coming king. So don't, don't, don't just play, play with prayer. Say the right thing. Tell God, I am here. I am nothing before you. But I know you can make something out of nothing. God, you see me struggle them. You see, she and the old lady, women, women are too clear with her feel like say, things are going or if you're going. So God, this is my case. Are you praying around what is happening? That is why me ride and fast and I don't tell people when I fast. Because when me done fast, you expect something better from me. Praise his holy name. Oh, praise his holy name. And so, I want go on, but I couldn't leave that part because you see, when we pray, we must be all right with each other. Amen. Come on, man. Preacher, let me tell you something. Serving God is not joking. And the whole part we are talking about. Do you know that I can be mad with my wife and she cook the food and I eat it and I'm still mad with her? And you have, you have preacher because uh, the subtlety. After not, maybe I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to prolong nothing. So you say, I say, let me eat this food. Because it will be too obvious if I don't eat it. So, so, let me tell you. My pastor tell me about a, 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 a lady whose husband hurt her feelings. And you know what she did when the, when the husband hurt her feelings? She go into the room and she bend down and she sink a bite in the bed foot. Yeah. She sink her teeth in the bed foot. She bite the bed foot. 
and preacher, the mark was there, and days passed, and she goes and she spread her bed, whatever, whatever. And the man did something lesser than that. And no, it wasn't less. But at that time, she flare up and go on bad. So the man said, like, and I said, oh, oh, I'm burning with the tea last week. I you not do nothing. And I did this this week. I ain't do this. And the man, she said, you think you never hurt me? Go in a room, go look on, on the bed foot. <laughs> Some of us hurt, but we hide it. Yes. Yes. Stop walking around hurt. Talk about things. Yes. Fix things right. Yes. How can you feel God unless you fix things right? The old part preacher means fixing things. So we are studying about old part because we are sitting here and some of us born and growing out. Do you think you are really on the old part? Are you in the way? Jesus said love your enemy. Do good to those that despitefully use you. He said if they are hungry, feed them. Preacher, believe me, when I take the word sometime, I weigh myself. I repent before God. You know? that's word, that's word, that's word. Because preacher, sometimes I you don't know, feel right. Sometimes one thing say I don't you know, feel right deep down. You know? that's true. I ain't have to say, but God, I don't know yet. Yes. But preacher, this man I say, Saul, who are running down for kill you? Yes. Feed him. Yes. That's what he's saying. Yes. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Preacher, do you understand that David, if, if, if you see Benaya, you see, you see Shimei, on, you, you see um, Abishai, yeah. Joab, yeah. and his other brothers, yeah. preacher, if you ever know how them feel about Saul. That is why Abishai said, this is the day where the Lord said. Yeah, just say the word. Just say the word. Give me one strike. Yeah, I don't need two. No. I know where to do it. Uh, right under the fifth rib. No, no, no. I don't need two, brother Baxter. Do you understand that David don't feel the same way about his enemies? Like how the men running with him feel about them? Those running with him want to kill them and see them dead. But David has a mercy. The man said, touch not the Lord's anointed preacher. Now do his prophet any harm. The man says, is there any love of the house of, of Saul? That I can do any good to preacher. How do you feel about those who you call your enemy? We are talking about all part. Yeah, tell your, your, your enemy so you don't get to live. What trouble me, you know, when you talk about prayer, people must agree and love one another. Otherwise, you're not praying yet. You're saying the wrong thing. Praise his holy name. Yeah. Reverend Pastor talk it all the while. You see, you can't just if, you, if if you see like for example, in me, Sister Amanda, and my um prayer partner. You see, for example, you never married and you have pray with Sister Amanda. When you don't pray, you did a talk and a talk. Guess what? Something more going on, you know? Because preacher, we just pray. We spend some time together. I'm preacher when we're done with it, our reason. Yes. Preacher, you know, when we're done pray, when we're done pray, sister man, and sister, tell sister in a high for me. Yes. Are we gone? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Sister man, I said, I'm pray tomorrow, Vanji, instead. I said, no, man, it's fine. Preacher, but about somebody who knows herself. Preacher, you have to know yourself. Otherwise, you'll believe you're on the old part and you are not. Praise his holy name. Oh, praise his holy name. Sister Clark. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Just coming from off of what you just said, Vanji, I have a two-part question. <laughs> um, I, is there a right time to make it right? No. no. If the spirit is moving right now, should I make it right right now? No. no. 
What if somebody is saying it's not the time to make it right? It depends. Jesus said, deal quickly with thine adversary. Whilst thou art in the way. Quickly. So, I mean, it, it, let, me, let me just add something though. You see, sometimes you, you think, you might think making it right. If it are confused, for example, the Sabbath school, instead of Instead of standing up and say, boy, I better rally, you know, say, you took for me and I have a car, you know, that thing, I took man foot, you know. You take better rally outside. Because that's what's written in the word. But it's still no. So I can do it right, wrong by saying, brother Riley, boy, you know, man, too full of car, my man, all, and I'm being tight shoes, we were growing up. And you can tip tip up a man foot, so man. And just mash up his up at school. Uh, but 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 I can call him and say come here, cause I saw God tell me to do it in the spirit of meekness. I will go outside and I will say you know say, I think me hurt your feelings, you know. But not about him hurt mine now, no. I think I hurt your feelings. And based on the, the trend that the spirit takes right now, I I want to tell you, I hear preacher and Sabbath school hurt me. So I'm gonna slap everybody, sir. So I, so I call Brother Riley and I deal with the issue hands on. I don't know if I'm helping Sister Clark. Yeah. <laughs> You're helping. Sometimes I'm confused. You know, because, you know, everybody is spiritual and everybody's led. But then sometimes, you know, you, you want to make it right and they make you feel like it is not the time to make it right. You know what I mean? Well, that's, that's on them. And then, like, for example, for me, if I have any issue with anybody, I feel like God's not going to hear my prayer. That's how it is. So I feel a sense of urgency to make it right. Yeah, like, Christian. I feel like if I don't make it right, then I can't pray tonight. It doesn't make no sense. So I might feel like, I might seem like a bother, but I really, really want to make it right right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you're like, this happened yesterday. Why are you calling me today? That's the right Because way. I really want to make it right. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's why I, I asked that. But my next part of my question is, right? Mm -hmm. Does it still stand if, if you feel said, mm -hmm. me have heart against you, should I come to you? <laughs> you just think that me have heart yeah, against yes. you. Oh, yes. Yeah. That you ask, you ask what is written in them. Yes. <laughs> you didn't even change anything. Yeah. So the answer is yes. yes. You, you're on it, sister Marlon. On the last part. Okay. But Ernie, you're on it too. Okay. Sister Marlon is the only one on it. I'm not taking anybody else on it. Praise the Lord. Don't you have a similar situation like that? And we get to a place in the van where we start to call them Agite Sun, <laughs> Perisite Sun, Jebby Arm, every size in the Bible. Praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. Because my favorite name was Agite. And I, I have to get to a place where Van I can um, reason out the situation. Me, me just, me don't pray. Because me feel, and you know, like, yeah. for example, I'm on the prayer line and they ask me, Mister, please don't ask me to pray. I'm not, I'm not, I just want, <laughs> just, I don't want to hear. But I understand that we have to get to a place um, That's a good with place. God. Because, Benji, if I'm in the wrong, I don't want to pray. Right. And Which is wrong because I should go to the Lord. But if you, I'm, sometimes anger, and the Bible says, rest in the boo, in the I'm a fools. Of fools. Yes. But um, you have to get to that place where you can um, just surrender and say, God, I, 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 I have to make this right. Mm. Though it's hard. But I don't know if I'm answering the question right, but I'm just too jumpy. Praise no, the name of answer. Jesus. But you have to get to the place um, of submission to the Lord. And you, you re and, and then sometimes you find yourself start taking up for them people in Avanji. <laughs> you just have to say, you know what? Based on um, past, based on history. So we have to get to the place where we can't even start praying for them and make it right. Just making it oh, right. Jesus. Um, praise the Lord. Praise him. <laughs> <laughs> We praise his name. Yes. Anybody learning? Yes. Yes. Um, I'm, let me tell you something right now. 
You see how Sister Clark says she feel, and Sister Marlon? If you, when you're in the wrong, if you can just still go on and pray, check yourself. Because some of you look like we're shocked a while ago. But trust me, if we are just done, and you can't just move on and sail on in the anointing, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. God is not mock, and what is in you is delicate. The anointing in you, the anointing is, the anointing have shame in you. Anybody ever go, go up on um, a hope road back in the days and until you come back next year and when a man put on you and you see with that visa, when he, you, while he talk, he say, well, you know, you, the experience will be good traveling but come back next year. <laughs> Bridget, when he tell me that car almost killed me, me walk out in the traffic, I like that. My blow me say, you that work out the road, you know, see, you walk in the road. Preacher. May God have mercy. His conscience really serve God doing it. It's not a bag of mouth. Conscience. And when, when you have a living conscience, you will serve God better. When preach I'm coming to you, you see some of us, we don't have no conscience. You know what we do? The only time we have that push and that drive to fix things is when you're looking at the supper table or the sir. You know? Some of you don't care about Sabbath, Sister Marlon, to be honest with you. Yes, Sabbath could not catch a fire like when Solomon don't pray. Ah, but when you hear that you will die, everybody want to make it right. And then we go back to the, to the, the devil old part. That's the devil's old part. Yes. Where you don't want to make it right. Until a certain time. But may God have mercy. I never expect this coming out. Go ahead, Brother Aaron, I'm moving. Amen. Praise God. Shall I praise the Lord? Praise Him. Amen. Uh, greetings to the church. Greetings to everyone. In amen. Jesus amen. Um, just a quick comment on something that you just said a while ago. You know, this week has been one of those, those, those weeks as I've enjoyed the men group a lot, brethren. Shall I praise the Lord? Amen. And I was thinking about something that you just said. I was saying that sometimes when you think about you know why we have our people and they even you know to have these things in your heart and you really look at it and you're like why well, it's a waste of time yes ma'am you know sister nikki you said something i i don't know if you sister nikki did the, the day um the sabbath after sister he was passed and then you said something up there and you said i don't know if she knew or she was aware that she was on borrowed time yeah. And I was like, whoa, God, you're real. Because every time Sister Hugh was in the car with me, that is what she would say. Yes. I am on borrowed time. Yes. And when you said it, Sister Nikki, I was like, God is real. Because you, you're not in the car with, with me, driving mm -hmm. with Sister Hugh mm -hmm. go home. So when I think about malice, when I think about backbites, when I think about these different things, it is a waste of time. When I, I stood there three weeks ago and I said, I've had a friend for 14 years mm -hmm. and I've wasted time. When I'm with the men's group, when I'm with the church brethren, I say I have to church my brethren more. Yes. Because I don't know when it will be my last. So when I think about all of these things, when I think about, you know, the laughter, the, the rolling of eyes, all of them, I just have to church and, and love the brethren. It's just my few words. We praise, praise his name. Amen. We praise his name. Praise Encourage him, man. Praise his Amen. name. Amen. God bless you, brother Aaron. Um, the more things we do together, is the better it is for us. Because what you don't get your real child to seek it from somewhere else. But when you are with us, you are, amen, safe. Praise his holy name. God bless you, preacher. Amen. Um, how, how far did the vision drive this once united and powerful force? First Kings 12, 25 to 33. Greetings to the Sabbath school. Amen. Praise the Lord. First King chapter 12 from verse 25 to 33. And it reads, Then Jeroboam built, built Shechem in Mount Ephraim and dwelt therein, and went out from thence and built Penuel 
And Jeroboam said, said in his heart, Now shall the kingdom return to the house of David. If this people go up to do sacrifice in the house of the Lord at Jerusalem, then shall the heart of this people turn again unto their Lord, even unto Rehoboam, king of Judah. And they shall kill me and go again to Rehoboam, king of Judah. Whereupon the king took counsel and made two calves of gold and said unto them, It is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem. Behold thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And he, and he set the one in Bethel, and the other put in Dan. And this thing because, and this thing became a sin for the people when to worship before the one, even unto Dan. And he made an house of high place, and made priests of, of the, the lowest of the people, which were not of the sons of Levi. And Jeroboam ordained, uh, ordained a feast in the, in the eighth month, and the fifteenth day of the month, like unto the feast that is in Judah. And he offered upon the, the altar, so did he in Bethel, sacrificing unto the calf that he had made. And he, pla and he placed in Bethel the priest of the high place which he had made. So offer unto the altar which he had made in Bethel the fifteenth day of the eighth month, even in the month which he had devised of his own heart, and ordained at feast unto the children of Israel. And he offered, uh, and he offered upon the altar and burned and burn incense. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. How far did the vision drive this once united and powerful force, Brother Brown? Nidology. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Praise, 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 Praise his name. Praise Amen. Mighty God. Yes, sir. Oh, boy. May God have mercy. You have yonder, Brother Javan? I'm going to take Brother Javan and then I take his sister. Kill. Everybody get that? Yes, sir. My, my, my. Um, praise the Lord. Praise Him. I had a question. Yes. I was greetings in Jesus' name. Greetings, preaching. Um, I was going to ask um, on if we um, encounter um, the old man, like you know, when we get baptized, we become new men, right? Yes. Um, I was gonna ask you, like, if we encounter on this old on this old path to righteousness if we encounter the old man um how do we overcome it and how bad is it if we can't overcome the old man come in help him oh you never listen yeah, okay sister step is that me too. Praise the Lord. Yes, yeah. um, a part of that question was the same question that Sister Janita asked me not too long ago. Mona. And my response to her was, whatever it was that led you to the decision, whatever you started to do, when you started your walk, yes. you need to go back to those things. Yes. So if it was that you repented and you started praying and reading more and you, you know, spending more time with God, you need to go back and do those things. Because, Brother Javon, if you can't overcome the old man, you're in trouble. Yes. Because that, if you can't overcome, you're going to hell. I'm, I'm not even going to hide and say yeah. it. Yeah. If you can't overcome the old man, you're going to hell. Yes, ma'am. And so, go back to your first work and call for backup. Call for backup and go back to your first work. These are my few words in Jesus' name. Praise his name. That's the answer. Were you help, sir? Praise his name. Yes, preacher. As Sister Sophie was talking, we have to understand it's what you put in. Yes. You're going to get up. Come on, preacher. If you don't, if you don't go among a tree, you don't say, if you don't go a fall, if you don't go a fall, fall roost, <laughs> mess can't catch you. Come on now. You understand me? Yes. 
So we have to understand, brethren. The old man, you understand me? The old man never always want to show up. Come on, preacher. Because Paul, even when I write, he said, when he think to do good, evil. He said, evil present himself, but he must be bringing body under subjection. Under subjection. Yes. So we have to understand, brethren, as long as you are a child of God, the old man is going to always show up. You understand me? But the Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee. So we have to understand, brethren. You have to full up, you have to full yourself of a more God. More Jesus. <laughs> more are the words. More Jesus, preacher. Listen to me. Every hour more are the old man in you. You're going to trouble. Come on, the preacher. Listen to me. That's right. why you have to push out the old man and have less of the old man. Praise him. Listen to me. Listen to me. If five, if you have Come five smuddy, I have one smuddy, the five will overthrow the one. Yes. Because I have more people. So we have to understand, brethren. We have to put in more God and less of the old man. Why we fall so many times we are too much of the old man? Yes, preacher. You understand me? Preacher. So the old man push, push, push the new man aside yes, because man. too much of him. Yes, man. Preacher, brethren, we have to understand. We have to build just like water. More water going to push the make the come up on top. Yes, man. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. More water now back with the hile. The hile come up. Flood. So we have to understand me. So let's we put more water in there. Put more of the new man. That's the push the up. I make the oil run off and gone. Yeah. But if I put more oil in there, you don't know what happened. More oil will come in the buckle. So brethren, we have to put more of the new man. He buys to put off the old man and his deeds. You see, listen to me. We want to put off the old man, but we still have his deeds then. Come on, a preacher. And that's the problem. You put him off, technically. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> because if you put that over, you still listen to me. You still are watching all the man. Somebody did this, man. Yes, man. Come on, now. Yes, man. Eh? And if you still are watching all the man, something you not put up. You still have it with you. Yes. So that's why they're flu over you. Amen. Praise him, sir. Amen. When you become a child of God, you have to put off. Amen. The more you put off, the better it is. Amen. But the more you hold on to, you're gonna be in trouble. Praise yes. him. So you have to put off. Amen. That's why I say, we will say. He said, oh, can a young man cleanse his way? By but by taking heed to the words of God. So when we understand the words of God, when you have the word of God in you, the more you have it, the stronger it is. The less words are weak is. Amen. So that's why young people and old people, let us feed on the words of God. Yes, brother. That when the devil come, we can use it. Because the devil now come with nothing, nothing, nothing out of them, come with the words. When he fears Jesus, he come with the words. So we have to understand, brethren, Jesus is used by the words for him. And if he tell Jesus, I mean, you know, nothing like Jesus. Come on, preacher. Eh? But Jesus know the word. You understand me? Jesus never used, listen to me. Jesus never tried to make up the word for himself, you know. He quote from Deuteronomy. Yes, man. You understand me? But you see, we, we try to make up things for ourselves. He said, we try to read God's word. I try to fight things by myself, boy, you know, me thought this and me thought that. Use the word, read the word. I said, no, that I can't use it. Fill up yourself with praise it. Him. Praise him. Praise his name. Lord. We praise him. Amen. Mr. Nicky. You're asking a different question? It's off what was said before. All right, so let me take next question and then I'll take you. Um, I want to do you want to come on the same thing, preacher? Come on. Um, I, um, I know Javen asked about, praise the Lord, saints. Praise him. I know he asked about the old man and, and the challenge to overcome. And I know, so I know he's not confused about, um, so just, just to draw a reference. Like Brother Brown, you have an old man. Yes, sir. Because you were a big man when you were in sin. You lived years in sin. Then you came to Christ, right? Yes, sir. You have children who are born in the church. You know what I mean? They, they didn't experience the world. They didn't experience the, the kind of old man that right, the Bible is right, describing. You, you get what I'm saying? So like Javan didn't experience Jane them 
the kids in church that mm-hmm. have just had no experience, no. The, for, the, for them, all men different. That's what I'm realizing. Yeah. So yeah. I just want us to. I, I, Deacon, I, Deacon eventually got to it when he said, um, "Soak in the words." Yes. Cause that that covers the answer. Mm-hmm. But some of them, like like when I was younger and I sat in church, I always wonder what. What I'm young. I don't know old man. I'm trying to put my brain in. Dear little mm-hmm. minds, I'm trying to put myself in Josiah or mm-hmm. in, in Sammy's head. Like, they, what they keep talking about this old man. I, I know I I'm still a child. And, and, and I just want to get, te- I mean, it's super technical, but I remember as a child thinking about this question. When I was a little pit in a church and I baptized, I said, me not an old man. I'm a kid. Like, I'm still a child. Like, when I got baptized, I was still a yeah, child. Yeah. So I'm just saying to us that some of the problems you're facing, preacher, is not the it's not the technical, it's, it's technical almost. It's not the, the old things that we used to do, are the new things that we have come yes, up. Man. I knew, man, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know, so like for Javan, it's not no old I things where, I, I know, know some theater. experience, I some new experiences. New experience. And that's why like you can, there's something with your jaw with the fall and it's sitting there, with, with, the, with the fall and the cub and the feather, the money, <laughs> roots are sitting there. And that's the problem. I know the Javan now have no old man. And the old woman. And the new exposure. And the new exposure. A crude, we are the crude that they talk about. A crude. The knowing is the problem. That's the problem where, where them oh, young ones have the new game that will come out. Oh, no, quiet, no. Come on, a preacher. Go back to soccer. Run. And get fit. At least you run and you get fit. And, and you're there on your bridge in them. So my new set when I come out, preacher. It's the, they're so sexually charged, they're so whatever. Man, I so me, I said, Javan, you know, I'm the old man. I, I mean, in the, in the very broad sense. You, yeah. Everybody, yeah. you know me, no, some are not confused. I'm just giving him, him the, I'm the old life, Brother Brown. But the preacher Brown, I pray for you every single, not day, time. Because you have a genuine old man of fight. Yes, yeah, man. Yes, yeah, man. You have a genuine warfare with yeah. the old man. Yeah. John, brother John, we pray for you every it takes time. Focus. Every prayer, every time. Can you have a genuine old man? Amen. Where you can look back and say, boy, me used to do this, me used to do that. Genuine, no, no, no old man. No, no, no old woman. No, no old woman. You can't even <laughs> check the barn and go in the church. Praise the Lord. So my problem is that the old feelings and the, old, and the new and them are the problem. Yes, Exposure, yes, brother. New I'm experience. So Mr. Preacher, I can't. I said, why the preacher? I'm struggling so No, much. see it, then. It's so hard to focus. Be encouraged, preacher. Amen. My, my, my. Praise him. Help us, Lord. Be encouraged. There are your old man to deal with. Because you live the majority of your adulthood in sin. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Have mercy. I'm blessed to preach. Preach, that's what we said. I'm afraid for you. It's rough. You know? And when you genuinely love people, it makes it rough. You know? We know, we know, we can't just, don't know, talk, and go no man no business. You are in our prayers, in our mind and thoughts. We want to make sure you do the right thing. Nevertheless, we can't drive around and watch you know. Because that has talking and I preach my wife for do that. <laughs> but just understand so there is a Holy Ghost with every winner, man. Yeah. And God saying I'm willing that none perish. Awesome. Praise his holy name. Praise oh preacher, we you God have mercy. Yeah. It's not easy. That's all I can say. Oh well, preacher, be encouraged. Praise his name. Praise him. Understand the Bible is talking about those that watch for your soul. Amen. And preacher, understand. Test behave yourself so that you won't go in the same house oh, so and make you sleep. How would you feel if you know when you know so your actions make him can't sleep? Because he care. Glory to God. Mm. And that's why God said, all part for talk, talk to it today. No? 
to make sure that we are still on it. And Sister Sophia said something earlier, but something come to my mind now. You know why God has said, we have a seek for the old part. Some of we know it, but we, we are not on it anymore. Amen. So my same say, so you must seek back for it. Yes, yes. That's the answer. Because we used to know it, but we're not on it anymore. So Jesus has said, come back to me. Praise his holy name. May God have mercy. I want to need a couple of readers now for question five. As soon as um, Abijah, the new king, took the throne in Judah, Jeroboam, king of the ten tribes to the north, declared war against him. Second Kings, Second Chronicles 12, 13 through 16, and then 13, 1 and 2. One, two, oh, one, you can go ahead. Three, people. You can go ahead. Three, four, five reading. I'll do the last one. I'll do the last one. I'll do the last one. I'm going to do, I'm going to do 13, 3 through 12. No, a four reading. Yeah, four. So, I go ahead, first person. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm reading now uh, Second Chronicles, third into sixteen. So, Jeroboam strengthened himself in Jerusalem and reigned for in Jerusalem and reigned. For Jeroboam was born and forty years old when he began to reign. And he reigned seventeen years in Jerusalem, the city which the Lord has chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. Put his name there. And his mother's name was Nema and Ammonites. And he did evil because he prepared not his heart to seek the Lord. Now the acts of your born, first and last, are they not written in the book of Shemaiah, the prophet, and of Edo the Sheer, concerning general genealogies. And there was wars between Rehoboam and Rehoboam continued. And Rehoboam slept with his father and was buried in the city of David. And Abijah his son reigned in the city. Praise him. Uh, no, that's not. You want me to read one and two? No, no. We have, we have four people. The other part, we'll get it. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise God. Um, Second Chronicles 13, verses 1 and 2. Now in the 18th year of King Jeroboam began Abijah to reign over Judah. He reigned three years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Micaiah, the, the daughter of Uriah, Uriel of Gibeah. And there was war between Abijah and Jeroboam. And Abijah set the battle in array. It's one and two. It's one and two, yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Second um, Chronicles 13, 3 through 12. And Abijah set the battle in array with an army of valiant men of war even 400,000 chosen men, Jeroboam, oh. Yeah, yeah, Jeroboam also said. Jeroboam also set the battle in array against him with 800,000 chosen men, being mighty men of valor. And Abijah stood upon Mount Zemarim. 
Zemarim, which is among Ephraim, and, and said, Hear me, thou Jeroboam, and all Israel. Ought ye not to know that the Lord God of Israel gave the kingdom over Israel to David forever, even to him and to his sons by the covenant of salt? But Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, the servant of Solomon, the son of David, is risen up and had rebelled against his Lord. And there are gathered unto him vain men and children of Bilal, and have strengthened themselves against Jeroboam, the son of Solomon, when Jeroboam was young and tenderhearted and could not withstand them. And now he think to withstand the, the kingdom of the Lord in the hand of the sons of David, and ye be a great multitude. And there are with you golden calves, which Jeroboam made you for gods. Ye have not cast out the priests of the Lord, the, son of, the sons of Aaron and, and the Levites, and, made, and have made you priests after the manner of the nations of other lands, so that whosoever come to consecrate himself with a young bullock and seven rams, the same may be the same may be a priest of them that are no God. But as for us, the Lord is our God, and we have not forsaken him, and the priests which minister unto the Lord are the sons of Aaron, and the Levites wait upon their business, and they and they burn unto the Lord every morning and every evening great sacrifices and sweet incense, and the the show the shoe the shoe bread. Also, they set set they in order. Upon, upon the pure table of the candlestick of gold, with the lamps thereof to burn every evening. For we keep the, the charge of the Lord our God, but ye have forsaken him. Twelve and last, and behold, God himself is with us for our captain, and his priests with sounding trumpets to cry alarm against you. O children of Israel, fight ye not against the Lord God of, of your fathers, for ye shall not prosper. Praise his name. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read it in together. And the Israel 
and the children of Israel of Judea prevailed because they relied upon the Lord God of their fathers. And Abijah pursued after Jeroboam and took cities from him. Bethel with the towns there off and just just a Hannah? Just a Hannah? Just Hannah. Just Hannah with the towns there off and Ephraim with the towns there off. Twenty and last, neither did Jeroboam recover strength again in the days of Abijah. And the Lord struck him, and he died. Praise his name. Amen. All right, for the first part, how did um, Abijah rebuke him? That is Jeroboam. He asked him, um, have you not passed out the priest? Yes, yes. And have made you priest after the manner of mm -hmm. Of and in verse 10 he says, But as far as the Lord is our God, and he yes. Verse 12, he tells him to fight not against the Lord, right. and for he shall not prosper. Everybody get the first part? No. Um, Luke from 9, he, uh, he, he tell him the things that he did, he rebuke him, tell him how we get men, the um, lowest of men, to make them priests. And, um, he tell him in 10, he said, but um, as for us, the Lord is with us, and have not forsake, we have not forsaken him. And then for 12, he tell him to fight not against the Lord, for he will not prosper. What about verse 5? Verse 5? Yeah. Um, Abijah said, verse 5. Yeah, that's a good part too. That, that's something that we could add too. You could also add verse 5, Brittany. You get a lot of rebuke. I'll have to submit up. Yes, that's true. <laughs> All right, for the last part, is, um, is it, uh, it asks, um, how did the battle end? Um, that was Jonah's reading. I would take 18. He said, Does the children of Israel were brought under at that time? And the children of Judah prevailed because they relied on the Lord. Praise his name. So verse 18 for the second part. And Jeroboam died in the end. Preacher, you, you, see, you see sin that caused confusion and war, it never ended. Because you know? by then, right here, Jeroboam died. You know? And his son fight him. You know? Yeah, Abijah. Is his son fighting. Praise his holy name. That is why Brethren has stressed from morning until now that when it depends on how we, we, we end. We can leave things very confusing. Praise his holy name. Um, user paid for his life for departing from the old pathway. Second Samuel 6. Can I have a read of our second Samuel? And um, Chronicles. You doing Samuel? Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Um, second Samuel six, one through three and six. Again, David gathered together all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000, and David arose and went with all the people that were with him from Baal of Judah to bring up from thence the ark of God, whose name is called, is called by the name of the Lord of hosts that dwelleth between the cherubim. And they set the ark of God upon a new cart and brought it out of the of the house of Adam that was in Gibeon and Ahio, the 
son of Abinadab, draw the cart. And and when they they came to Nacho's threshing floor, Uzzah put forth his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it of the ox and shook it. Reason. Um. It's a use 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 a paid for his life for departing from the old path. What happens, Sister Janita? What did you just read? Praise God. Good for design. Yeah. Put his hand on the ark of God and took hold of it, and the, of the ark shook it. And touched on the Lord's frame. Praise his name. Praise the Lord. When you breach, there's, there are consequences. Praise his name. All right, um, First Chronicles. First Chronicles um, 15, 11 through 15, and 25 through 23. And David called for Zodak and Abitar, the priest, and for Levi, for Ural, Aam, Asha, and Joel, Shimei, and Eli, and Am Amidad, and said unto them, Ye are the chief of the fathers of the Levites. Sanctify yourselves, both ye and your brethren, that ye may bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel unto the place that I have prepared for it. For because he did it not at the first, the Lord our God made a breach upon us, for that he, sorry, for that we sought him not after the due order. So the priests and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel. And the children of the Levites bear the ark of God upon their shoulders with the stave thereon. And Moses commanded according to the word of the Lord. So David and the elders of Israel and the captains over thousands went to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of the house of with joy. And it came to pass when God helped the Levites that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord that they offered seven bullocks and seven rams. And David was clothed with a robe of fine linen and all the Levites that bear the ark and the singers and the chanan and the master sorry, the masters of the song with the singers, David also had upon him an eod of linen. Though all Israel brought up the ark of the covenant of the Lord with shouting and with sound of cornet and with trumpet and with cymbals, making noise with um, palsy and harps. Praise him. Praise him. Mr. what hold it on. What was the result when the king went back to the old part? They actually, they got, they repent, and um, they actually made a sacrifice mm -hmm. unto God, and giving praise and thanksgiving. Praise him. Praise his name. Yes. Virgin, they have success. Yes. Yes, because what, what happened, you could the, the ark of the Lord could go back to its place. Praise his name. But in the beginning, we saw what Sister Jenny the read. Oh, when David said, I want to try a new thing, and God just set the patrol there and, and said, I'll set things straight today. And when the rock preacher would say, <laughs> user say Oh, ark of God can't drop it. A preacher him will touch it, you know, and he can get electrocuted. <laughs> Praise his name. Preacher, let us do the right thing. Uh, some things that we do, um, the effect of it is not as sudden as, oh, he died there. But over time, we are being electrocuted little by little. So let us make sure we do the right thing. Jesus, name. you have your name, Fred Riley? Yes. 
Praise the Lord. Praise God. Um, so I have a comment from someone online and a question that someone else had. And I'll read a question since it's, um, and I think it's less of a question, just of a, a warning and encouragement. And it says, seeing user died because um, they departed from the old path, and he was simply following the command of the king. Would the outcome be different if he respectfully told the king that this is not the way to go about bringing the ark? And they were saying that is this the lesson for us today, that in relation to our leaders and the path we go on? And, they were, and I think they, they, they asked the question, but I think they didn't know the answer. And I was just saying to myself that it is a reminder that, Vanji, as much as I respect you, I have to respect God more. Yes, ma'am. Um, yes, I think it was Jeremiah when, I don't remember the exact kings, but when they, the kings were looking for prophets and then them asked every prophet and every prophet tell them the sweet words that they like. Oh, Mikhail. 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 Thank you. And, um, you know, and, you know, said, we now got asked that one day because, and I like and, it. yeah, peer trouble, peer bad words, peer, you know, words were, what, what men are like here. And, you know, he, he came and he, and he had to tell them what God said. And even, um, Bam, because I was mixed up the toilet. When, when, you know, the king told him to, to curse Israel, he said he can't do nothing else oh, but, 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 you know, do what God said. And Come even on, um, the, the disciples, when they were being beaten and told that they, they can't, you know, they shouldn't preach these words. That and they went back and they said that, hey, we still have to do. Yes. Still have to do what God says. Shall we praise yes, the Lord? God. And, and I think this is what the person is trying to say, that regardless of, what your leaders say. If you know the better way, if you know the old way, and this is the, the thing about the Church of God, the way it is locked to a, a group of people, but locked behind some vault. I went to the Coca-Cola um, factory the other day and we talked yeah. about the secret vault yeah. and you have the thing in, and only a few select people know the recipe. That's not how it is with the words of God. It, it's open for everybody to go in and, and learn on their own. And, and regardless of who we are, Nathan could have gone to David and known that you are the one who could have corrected him yes, and said that you made the mistake, you made the breach. And um, the comment that um, the person had was from earlier, I guess when Sister Sophia um, had asked her question, and they said that we need to be more obedient to the Spirit of God, cease from criticizing, um, criticizing the movement of God in our, in our midst, seek for more direction from God as opposed to relying on our own feelings Praise and start seeking for and living in holiness. Amen. I love that. Yes. I love that. Praise his name. I love that. Preacher, that is why we, we um, um, some family member of mine asked me, why don't we keep the cameras on when the Holy Ghost is moving? And I said, no, because we are saving people's soul by, from blasphemy. Yeah, we are. We are, preacher. Yeah, people want to see. Because you know what? But, and I, um, but, but that was my response. Because people, yeah, people say they want to see. Oh, yeah, you want to see. But then when you see, it's like you have the spirit in trial. So you don't want to say nothing. If you are connected without seeing it, you can feel it. And that is enough. Praise his holy name. Oh, somebody worship God. Preach a large supper night. I was in, I was in um, Newton County. But we could feel everything. So get on board. And you don't have to see nothing. Because you'll feel it all, Sister Nikki. Um, I have a question. So a lot of times it seems like um, the persons who are not born and raised in the church, it's like when they come in, they find it more precious than those of us who were actually born and raised in the church. Yes. Um, so my question is, what what can be done for those of us who are raised in the church to really see the necessity of what it is that we have? Because sometimes we just play church. It's like we don't realize the impending danger. Yeah. So what can be done differently for us to see the necessity of what we have? 
Everybody hear the question? Yes. Where the box? Oh, yes. Praise God. Praise the Lord again. Amen, amen. So um, I'm, I'm trying to think, think to myself, you know, um, to say what can be done. So my answer is, I, I don't know if I, I, I got the first part that you were trying to explain, but my answer, I was, I was thinking about what um, Brother Aaron was saying and the fact that um, he liked the, the, the men department when we come together and um, we was, you know, doing stuff. Um, I'm thinking that for, I, I, um, ask a question again, sister, so, so I, I, I get it clear, because ask a question again. I was saying that a lot of times, um, persons who are coming from outside, okay. it's like they live a better life than us who were born and raised in it then, to okay. put it that way. Okay. So, my question is, what can be done for us to really see the necessity of what we have so that everybody can be like at the same level? Well, uh, um, yes, so basically like, like, like as Aaron, I was thinking before, because people outside, you might look at people and say um, they're living a better life. No, he's asking preacher. Well, I'm thinking um, because you have to make up. Um, oh, I'm looking at it. I'm thinking that um, you have to make. Uh, I would say better, like more. I can't, I can't. I can't get the word what I'm trying to. But um, like, I'm not gonna put it plainly. What will come to my mind? Like new experiences. That's how it come to my mind. I was trying to find something. Like I basically. Well, you see somebody have a, um, a different experience out there and their life or, or they, or they um, live. You come in the church now, I don't know if I'm getting it rightly, but all I, all I say, take, take my head, I'm just saying it. You know, for you to um, have a, a, um, understand what you're in or um, grasp what you're in, grasp what you're in or whatever, you have to, you have to build a relationship in that, in that, in that, in that area, in that, in that field. Of thing like um, you have to dig more in it, get into what what it's all about, and um, you know. So that's why I'm, I'm I'm thinking in my head. I don't know if I'm right or not. All right. Um, um, I have a few hands. You'll, you'll get help for the box there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna take sister sister um Miles first. Can she put her hand up? Spread up, mic, please. Okay, shall we bless the Lord? Praise Him. Praise God. Greetings in Jesus' name. Greetings. Um, well, I was thinking, because we do see a lot like how, okay, for example, Brother Brown, he just came in recently. It's been about a year or two since he's been here. And he's digging into the Word. He is, you know, the Spirit is using him and so on, and the list goes on. And then we have others who are here that they're just going on, they're just, you know, treading that same line. If you ever looked at a chart, you see like uh, how sales are going, sales are dropping and rising, and then some sales are just going and it's just there. That's how some people are. So what happened is that I feel like, okay, for the people that are cherishing their, or just, you know, it's more precious to them, I feel like because they've been through it, yeah. So they have the experience and they know, like, some people were at gunpoint. Some people got raped or whatever it may have been. And, or just whatever, they had drugs or they were carrying drugs and just different stuff. So they had God's protection and God spared them to come into church. And because people who are born in church, they just feel like they're on that same, they live that same life and they want to try different stuff or, you know, it's just the same old thing. But I feel like we should take their, the people that came to church, their testimonies and their experiences and thank God that we didn't have to go through stuff like that and that we're able to just be spared from stuff, Yeah. if that makes sense. It makes sense. 
<laughs> All right, I have a couple more on it. Um, you, you are limited. I'm driving this home. You are limited. I'm going to, uh, Sister Campbell will be next, and then I'll come over that side. One, two, three. Oh, you're, you're, you have your Sister Joanna? You have your on the same thing, preacher? All right, each person have a minute. I'm, I'm counting. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise his holy name. But um, Banjo, what came to my mind is um, um, a lot of people, they said they have a saying that want you want you can't get it. Right. And get you get you don't want it. Uh -huh. And I was thinking also, <laughs> where the word of God talking about showing your pearl to swine? Praise his holy name. Yes. Um, a lot of times, brethren, you can think about it with experience. Would a child grow up well off? Oh, then just bite a piece of chicken and chew away. True. Because they might get it Achoo. easy. Achoo. And the one where never have you and a man, all the boom. You, a matter of fact, you're not seeing nothing left. And so, therefore, I was just thinking that for most people, because it's not everybody who grew up in the church of God, tend to, um, because it came so easy, they, they just. Um, you know, don't cherish it or hold it dear to their hearts because it's almost like it is there so I, I can get it whenever, I, um, you know, it is right there. And for a person who fought, it's almost like, in a sense, even though we are Jews, all Jews, but it's almost like in that light where the Jews knew they weren't part of it and they had the opportunity to get it. I mean, the Gentiles. Uh -huh. And the Jews know they had the opportunity. And so they squandered. Some of them are still out for Jesus. And some of them don't know the word of God. So I was just saying that, um, Sister Nikki, um, a lot of people, because it came so easy, they were born in it. And it's the same effect like us who born and hear about Jesus Christ and God versus the man um, um, from over so who in a Buddha all in life and whatever. And God revealed himself. And that the man they want go 24-7, go, go preach uh, uh, and say his experience is the same kind of thing. So um, it's just for us, for those, I know, trying to get my point. All right. Okay. But it's just for us, brethren, that born in it, with all those analogies that I'm saying, it's for you to um, know the importance of what you're doing. Amen. And the experience, Maintenance. the experience with the encounter you have with God. Yeah. And that takes a liberty and a, and, a to, and a constant connection with God to actually cherish what God given to you. Because when you read the words of God and hear other testimonies and stuff, you will want to cherish it, Sister Nikki. You want to fight for what you have and not being complacent with it because you know, say, many want it and can't have it. Praise his name. But um, take your tail on that side and then come down there. Praise God. Praise God. Um, Sister Melissa said, um, that's what I have to say. That means but, um, 30 seconds for you. <laughs> one, thing, one thing I was thinking about, um, when you when you love a car. A car? Come on, you get a car. No. When you like when you love a car, yes. Even when you hold and the good one, you still love it. Yes. And you have it when you take good one, you have a furniture. Yes. And we paint it and set up the back again. Yes. Cause uh, when you get the new one, you still love that the one. And if you love the word of God, so if you if, if you put that interest into the word of God, then every time you drive that car, it comes sweeter and sweeter to you. That's so you won't, you, you, you won't, you won't get drift from it. You will always stick with it. Because that's what it is. Praise the name. Praise the name. Praise the name. Can I praise the Lord? Praise God. Can I praise the Lord again? Praise the Basically everybody's saying the same thing. So I'll just keep it short. Um, what I was saying was... What I was saying was um, that you cherish what you have. Yes. I keep saying it. Mm -hmm. Cherish what you have. Uh, this week, I got my grades back, and you know, I was saying to myself, I looked at uh, Cardi B, Regin. I was looking at Cardi B this week. 
and I said, not card for the music video, but like the, the actual artist, her okay. bio. Okay. And I said to myself, to somebody, I said, what is she doing that I am not doing that I cannot make six figures? And a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and then you know, a lot. I, I said to myself, when I listed out the things, brethren, I said, okay, I value my body. Okay, I'm not posting stupid videos on the internet. I'm not longing up my tongue. And I said, I'm actually in the church of God, and she's not. When I, I, I point out those things, Bridget, I value the church so much more better than Andrew. I value the church, and I value the brothers, I value the sisters of the church so much more because I have a relationship. She doesn't have a relationship with God. Her relationship is with the world. So when I, I see those things, Bridget, and I hear questions like what Sister Nikki is asking, I, 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 the, the automatically to me what comes back is just cherish. Is when you, it's like what Brother and I just said, um, I had the Honda Civic, Bridget. I can always use that as an example. Mm -hmm. I loved it to, to, to the bone. But even though it was time for it to go, I still reflect back on it. And I, and I, um, still, I still cherish like, every moment I had, of, I had of it. So that's the only thing that's kind of coming to my mind, is just, just cherishing it, right? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Sister, sister. Yeah. Sister Aaron. Oh, this is a joint. Go ahead, my dear. Um, but Riley will be final on that side and preach all the end it. Talk to me now, Joe. Most of the people that I already talked already said what I said, but um, I get yeah, like if you love something, you would stay with it and you would cherish it, and you would love it. Also, I'm guessing that like the people that came from our world, that came to church, they had an experience, so they cherish it more because they know what could happen if they go back out. Yeah. And also, like if you were born in the church, you really have no experience in like curious, curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you want to try out new things, and then you end up just backsliding. So that's all yes. Praise Him. Praise the Lord. For the Riley, you have your hand up. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Um, as Sister Nikki's question, I was just trying to think about it really hard, and I think the essence of the question is what we can do to encourage yeah. you know those who, yeah. who have been born in the church and been here how to you know have that joy and i feel like i'm in a slightly unique position where i was kind of born in the church because i was there from when i was a little child and I, right. and I came up all the way to like high school and then i left and went on my own and i remember being in the church i don't remember the the expectation to be get to be baptized and to live for God was there, but the, the teaching about why there's this expectation wasn't set in place. Okay. There wasn't a, you know, you live for God so you can abide this brother bro. Or, or you live for God so you don't have to deal with this. They, they might have said it in out loud in, in whatever, but it was never like a one-on-one -on -one or, or take a group aside and, and tell them, say, hey, um, Jonathan or Josiah or whatever, you know. Wait, 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 you're young now, and, and Pastor talk about the new experiences that these young ones are going to face. It's new to them that they have, if we don't teach them now, they have no defense against it. They, right. they have no, nothing when they can rally back on. All, all, all they're being hearing is that you can make it, you can make it, and you know, this, but we tell them to read the words, but sometimes they, they need to hear the testimonies of the older brethren to say that, you know, when, 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 when you, when I was out there, I, I did this, I did that, and, and because of not knowing about God, I, I went through this situation. I had to deal with this this relationship. I have I have a, a child on the side. Well, if me then a church right now, more not to deal with our our I'm gonna go through this situation where if I was in God, I didn't have to experience it. And we, we know about the Amish the Amish where when your children reach a certain age and send them out to go experience the world. Obviously the church can't tell them none of our young people do that. Because we'd lose more we'd lose far more than we have right now. Shall we yes, praise Lord? How our experience, how we teach them, tell them about our things that we, we go through. I was saying to myself that we really need to give more testimonies sometimes and not just to say opening it, the, the, the atmosphere, just you know, just take a you one 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 away and say to him, say, Hey, 
when you're young now and you might not experience certain things. And obviously you're not going to go beyond some boundaries because you might not be the parent, but you tell them as far as you can go, you sit with them and tell them that, hey, you're going, you're going to the high school where the girls and the boys are and everybody you're going to see and they're going to want you a different day. They're going to look for you, you're going to be different. You're going, to, you're going to be unique among everybody. You're going to show them that, hey, you're going to experience these things, but you can make it and, and you can still have the joy. And so we teach them that it is not a right, it's a privilege. At any point, God can take it away. It is not something that is definitely destined to be yours. The, the scriptures talk about how God said he would raise up sticks and stones and all these different things to take the place of the of, of, of the, the, the Israelites. And even for us, right, we are still the sticks and stones, to be honest, because we weren't, none of us were meant to be a part, we're originally a part of this family. So we're already in a sticks and stones category. What else left for us to be? Shall we praise the Lord? And that is how you teach them that way. You tell them, show them that, hey, it's not something that's just destined to be. You have to work at it the same way. It's no easier for you than for the man who come or the woman who come out of the world. It's still the same battle. But his expectation might be harder on you, but teach them why there's this expectation. Praise, praise God. God. Praise his name. The preacher, your final. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise him another time. Praise him. So, Brother Riley, you hit one of the key things um, which is important. Mentorship is important. Mentorship is important to get them through the, um, to understand the experiences that are coming, to, to kind of prepare them for that, right? Yes. And the, the, the one thing I want to add, which Sister Nikki, I want you to listen to this. This is critical. I think we need also to do better at tearing down the people who are born and raised in the church. I think that's one of the problems. The, the attitudes to people who are doing well, sometimes it's not appropriately valued to me. Like if I'm born and raised in the church preacher, and you do everything what you're supposed to do, yeah. you, reach to, you reach to an evangelist or whatever, a pastor, whatever, you have people who look down from that like there's a sin. Yeah. Like why? Because your father had this or your father had that. Yeah. Take off my mask and tell you no. <laughs> make you do whatever. And to me, those things is not attractive to the other people that I look on. Yeah. You, know, you don't have to agree, Amen. but I'm telling Amen. you that's a problem. Amen. Oh boy, um, um, you're doing what you're supposed to do. And people belittle that like it's nothing. I, 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 I think that's a problem that we have too. We're, we're the people, Sister Riley, who do what they're supposed to do. Yeah, people sit on the back going something and get up in a church and talk all kind of things in the same Sabbath school. Say, because of this, or because of that, and heritage, and whatever. So, so I am saying that's a problem too. Levite. We need more, we need more <laughs> Levites in our church. We need, I want, I want Javon to follow in my footstep. Come on. As I follow in my father's footstep. Amen, sir. And I don't want him to look and and uh, just better brown to look on it like it's a problem to do well in church. I want some of them to follow in their father's footsteps. Yeah. Praise is well in him. And I want preacher him to be able to come into the ministry. Because if we set up, we can't come in the ministry. Manu because preacher. I'm in the ministry, that's a problem. Manu, what, if the man have, it? what if the man have the call upon him? That's what I'm saying. If you have the call of God on him, the only reason he's not coming in is because I'm there. Come on, a preacher. It's it's, a, it's inappropriate. People 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 will say things like, "My brother and I are not supposed to be pastors." To me, that is something that I, that is appropriate for the church of the living God. Wow, From man to have two sons, <laughs> and the two of them love God and do what they're supposed to do. Come on, a preacher. And get to where they're supposed to get. I have preacher. people sit and believe not like that's not appropriate. Uh -uh. That's wrong. So, how is that attractive to Javan? How would he want to be like me? Turn him off. When, when he hear people in the background and people say that that's not right. For you and your brother to be pastors. That's how the Bible set it up. We're supposed Moses. to live for God to the point where... Moses and Aaron preach. Come on, man. <laughs> you, if you're reading the Bible, but people where... Preach. I'm, some preach, I'm not saying in the world you don't have people who are mash up church. I'm not going to say that you don't have people who don't behave appropriately. But this is my problem. And I'm going to say it to, again, preach. I preach against it. I talk against it. No. When you have people in church who are doing what they're supposed to do, stop belittling them. Celebrate the ones that are doing well. Yes, ma Rebuke the ones that are not doing well. Yes, but stop putting the baby on the bathwater and throw oh, thing. And that's a problem. So, Sister Nikki, I love the part what Brother Riley said on the other bridging. It's, a, it's naturally harder to 
um, to navigate, like it's, it's naturally harder because you don't have the experiences. Right. Um, but I love what Brother Riley mentioned, the, the mentorship is important, but also I'm gonna say this, that the, what I just said, I'm just say, re replay and listen to it, it's real. You have people who build it to those things, preacher, like it's not supposed to happen. Preacher, you have Pastor Mullins in Jamaica, preacher, they're saying, you are not supposed to be, you, you have, you have people who sit down and say, why, it's, it's a, his nephew not supposed to be a minister? <laughs> and that's a biblical. So uh, that's a problem. I'm not saying, you know, yeah, preacher, feeling, that is a policy. I'm just saying it's a problem when yeah, it's not attractive to our children when they come up and see the pressure we're under because you're doing what you're supposed to do here in the church. That's a problem. So that's one of the main things we can do to make it better. Praise him. Satisfy my dear? Yeah. Um, I, I am satisfied and on the same line that pastor spoke I remember um, before we moved here when pastor Palmer's two daughters got baptized in New York yes. and brother Jonathan and I we were there and I put it up on my status you know just you know just I big them up and somebody in the church in Jamaica texted me and asked me who baptized. And when I told him, and um, Sister Janessa was baptized too, it's like they were saying, oh, me think of somebody from outside will make you go on. So. And I'm like, it's still a soul. You want them to grow up in a church and then not baptize and then they're just gone. We have so many people who Attitude were born one. and raised in the church in their 20s and still not give their life to the God. And so, Virgin, we have to learn to big up these things, the little young ones that are coming up. We big them up and we make them feel good. That is something good that yes, you are doing. Yes, because too many times you see people come from outside and take up what we have home long oh, man, and man. I run with it as yes. if and it's as, it's as if we never really we don't know what it is praise his holy praise name him. but the subject is saying today seek, seek for, the, for old the old pathway part. so those of us who are born and raised in the church make people know say something good we do when Amen. we go outside we Amen. represent Amen. praise his holy name we dress how we're supposed to dress we do what we're supposed to do and yes. we represent and we don't make it seem like it's it's a burden make it seem as if it's freedom because that is what salvation is these are my few words in Jesus name praise his name we praise him church I love it I love all the answers <laughs> oh Jesus may the, Lord, may the Lord help us you know I always say it. we should say if you curse out the church you can expect your children to come and respect church praise his holy name Oh, somebody worship God. And you can't only minister your, to, to your children at church. Huh? That's a big problem. And that's hypocrisy too. Let's have devotion. So that when we come to church, I mean, we can worship. You know, if I don't care, then I may come down here and tell myself I worship. Praise his holy name. So there's a lot to it, preacher. You know, and let us live and be examples. So that, let me tell you something. I don't follow foolishness when people come with some things. You know? I, I, I just tell people that the only way, pre Deacon, you have, two, you, have, you have three sons. You know? And preach that the only way they're not going, going to the ministry is I must sin. There must be some rough for you down, down for Eli boy them. And only that can stop them. Around here. Come on, a preacher. It's only that because Samuel, when Samuel taught God, used lightning and thunder to answer him. And yet still his sons could not be in the ministry. Because then they're rough. You know? So, so preacher, the, these, we know the word of God. And we know the only reason why they can't be. But if they're living up, nothing can stop them. No living man. Praise his name. And so God bless. Amen. Last question. What has the prophet declared in Jeremiah 6.16? And what admonition comes to us from First Corinthians? You read both? Okay. Go ahead, preacher. Jeremiah 6, 16, Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways, and see 
ask for the old fast where it is the good way. And walk there and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, you will not walk there. But they don't Come again. Come again, preacher. Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and walk therein? And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Brother Jaden, what has the prophet declared? What you read, sir? Ask for the ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? Yes. And, and will you find it? Praise his name. And what admonition comes to us, Brother Gabriel? Yes, son. Praise him, church. Can we be as one? Yes. Is it possible? Oh, yes. Amen. The writer said, Ask the Savior to help you. Come forth, strengthen, and keep you. He's willing to aid you. He'll carry you through. Praise his name. Let us continue to live, brethren, and to stay on the old path. Embrace what we have. Amen. Brother, Brother Riley said it in his, in his um, statement that it's, it's a privilege. Praise his name, and we should treat it like of such. God bless you, and God keep you. Let us live to the end, because if we do, we'll hear the well done cry. God bless you in Jesus' name. Oh.